Well, hello there. How's how's you doing? It's me. Hi. Crazy. Crazy to to expect me here of all people on my own YouTube channel. Hi. <laughs> also, where's my chat? Where the fuck did that go? I know there's a message message there. Why is it not on the screen? We're at, we're having technical difficulties. I might have also just done in the wrong chat. Is that it? Where are you, chat? Where am I, chat? Huh? What's happening? <laughs> Why are my overlays not working? Also, hi, Chimes. I'm working on it. I'm working on you being on screen. Don't worry about it. We're getting there. <laughs> um, chat, chat, refresh, please. You just sneeze. I don't need to sneeze. Ah, well. Uh, that's that. What the fuck? Why is it not happening? Hello, please. Copy? That usually doesn't happen. What, what's going on? What's going on today? Did I do something bad? Did I, did I fuck up, did I fuck up the chat? What happened? What did I do? Uh, wait, we can try this one just to see, or is just chat generally not working? Where, what's going on? Ah, oh, there we go. All right, at least one of the chat's working. That's why I haven't back, have a backup option. Just in case chat doesn't want to work. There you go, there you are. Hello. Yeah, I'm crying. Um, do you know it's been a while, I'm not gonna be around because I'm not a fan of Genshin, but I wanted to stop by and say hi. Hope stream goes well. Yeah, Valid, thanks. See you. Um, you know, that's why I do different stuff. So the people who don't like Genshin don't have to watch it. Yay. Um, you know, we're doing other things. We do variety here. Isn't that crazy? Uh, we have the music back up again. Yes, good, good. Paimon coming in. Pa Shut up, Paimon. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got everything. We're here. We're we're doing it. Um, we're in the desert now. We're we're running around with uh, Sino today. I'm very excited. I'm extremely pale today because of the sunlight filtering in. So you're gonna have to bear with me for a little bit. Uh, it'll get better in about an hour. <laughs> what are you planning to do today? We're gonna do Act 4 of the Sumeru Archon Quest. I've just been kind of uh, doing that once a week. So we have a lot of content to still go through, so we uh, we won't run out of content until Natlan shows up. Uh, B coming in! B coming in! A! B! Bzzz in the chat. Hello. The buzzing in the chat. He's here. But... Ah! I'm tired. It's been a long week. But at least now it's um, Easter holidays, but that doesn't mean shit because I'm still a 9 to 5 worker. It just means I don't have to go to school. That's what Queen B said. B. Truly. Um, we are... I'm already in our village, so um, we're just happening by. Wait, there you go. We're gonna have to do a quick switch because it doesn't let me use my keybinds when I'm in game, which is ha. Um, but yeah, we're... so this is a day in the life of the traveler. That's great. <laughs> I'm learning more about you all the time. Yes, I have not missed the spontaneous words. Uh, but yeah, we're, we are meeting Sino. Uh, we are meeting King Deshret as well, apparently. Uh, King Deshret and the three Magi. And we're gonna figure out where the missing villagers went to. Well, the village keepers, aka, um, you know, uh, the, the crazy scholars. So, wherever he went to. Wherever he is, we're gonna meet Sino. We're gonna see where he is. Sino, Sino, Sino. King what? Well, we have um, the mausoleum of King Deshret. He is an old elder god. I love that it's just freaking out over here. Uh, we have an elder god that is, oh Jesus. Uh, chat too also needs to be here. There you go. Um, 
What the fuck is going on? Why is chat two not working? There you are. Jesus. Um, but like, uh, I don't know who that is either, but King Deshret. If I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, we're working on it. But yeah. Hello, Kazan. Uh, we're gonna ask you if you if you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, um, you know, Zhongli. <laughs> no. Hello. Excuse me. Excuse Did you me? happen to see where the missing scholars went? You know, as if you would know. You mean the village keepers? Oh, let me think. That's a great question. Hi, Joe Star. When I was eating dinner the other day, I saw one of them by the side of the road muttering away and eating mushrooms and tree roots. They shouldn't go around eating that kind of stuff. Fair point. Uh, okay. Um, did you notice anything else? Anything else? Hmm. No, I think that's all I have to tell you. Sorry. <laughs> he just leaves. All right. Next guy. Hello. Oh, next girl, actually. Hi. Do you know how long did it take you to grind the scholars for the scholars that have gone missing? Have A you while. seen them? Have you seen them? The monotonous. Mwah. Um, uh, I mean, I only... I had Ayaka since the beginning of the year. And I've only just now leveled her up for to level 90. So, it, uh, I mean, it depends how often you play and how dedicated you are to get them to level 80 or level, level 90 because it does take uh, the equivalent amount of um, EXP to go from level 80, 80 to level 90 as it does to get from level 1 to level 80. So it is a lot and it's a big commitment to go there. So you have to be very sure about the character you want to send to level 90. Um, it takes a lot. I have it written down for Kazuha because I am planning to get him to level 90 Im essentially immediately. Um, as best I can in any ways. Um, but yeah, like it's, it's, it's a commitment. Oh Jesus, lol. Yeah, I have many, 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 um like notes and graphs and uh, maths that I've done to determine that. And it is essentially you need, yeah, I have it here. You need 4,900,000, 4, 30, 9,000, blah, 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 EXP to get from uh, level one to level 80. And you need from 80 to 90, you need about as much. So 3,423,000. Uh, and then some EXP. A lot is what you need. Uh, you need a total of 8,362 EXP. Good luck. Uh, may the odds be ever in your favor. <gasps> Those eyes. Those fierce eyes. You, you look like a real fighter. No way. Maybe because it's the grandma after. Don't change the subject. Tee <laughs> Very, very on point. Uh, right. You were asking about the vi uh, I mean, the mad scholars. I think it's been a few days since I last saw them. I usually go to bed pretty early, so I'm not too familiar with what goes on at night. Valid. But honestly, I feel quite sympathetic towards them. Even though they act a little strange, they've helped me in the past. If it weren't for them, my house would have collapsed long ago. Damn. Uh, raising characters and artifacts takes so many resources and I hate it. Yeah. I think she's simping over him. I, Sino isn't actually up on the list. You should see me when I react to I'll hate them. <laughs> Brimp? Um, the brimping is mostly going on with I'll hate them. Because I know he doesn't like me and would never like me. But I'm just over here just being like, ha. Huh. Do you also think Grandpa and the others are good people? Oh, hey, is that Sasuke's VA? I don't know. Um, he's Sayu. He's a he's a, he's a he's a VTuber. 
I can look that up in a second uh, if you can do something more with the actual name of the voice Grandpa. actor. Oh, hello there. It's little Isak. You mean that nice man who looks like your grandpa's long lost twin, right? <laughs> he was actually the one who protected my house. I saw it with my own eyes. He happened to be staying near my house that day and was doing something with his hands on the ground. It's not a uh, fair point. I, <laughs> I don't know who is who. I, I am um, like the least amount of weeb you've ever met, so. It still feels pretty surreal now that I think back on it. Did someone teach them how to do that? AKA, I have no idea who's who's act voice actor. I don't know what Sasuke's English voice actor sounds like. Please don't judge me. Well, whatever the case, I'll always be thankful to him and whoever taught him to look out for others. I'm pretty sure that if I ever went mad, I wouldn't be able to do anything like that. Sayas si VA isn't Sasuke's. Yeah, fair. Gotcha! Thank you! Tee <laughs> Right. I can check. Wait, Maragi, you mini, 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 there he is. Um, he's voice, uh, voice acted by Alejandro Saab. So, is that a, if that tells you anything? Uh, you know, that's him. Mr. One-Eyed Anubis. That's the guy! You can see the name up here. You can also not see anything else because of the chat. But you know. Yes, where are we going? I only wish life could be as leisurely as this a little more often. Look, cats. <laughs> How greedy of me. Bye, cat. Did you just disappear into thin air? Where the fuck did you go? Where are you, kitty cat? I didn't mean to scare you. Where are you? I wish I could pet you, but I can't. Just stealing vegetables. We love it. Hi, Mahoof. I've got a got cool drip, dude. That, can I go in? No. Wait, Sona shares my exact birthday. <laughs> uh, you know who also shares my my exact birthday? Fucking Lisa. Fucking Lisa. Ah. Over there. Fucking Lisa. Her birthday is the sixth of um, September. I can't believe it. I don't like her. She's in D tier. Uh, sir, have you seen my grandpa recently? You know, the one who likes to sit and space out near the village entrance. Help! Are you sixty nine? I am sixty nine. Um, people often don't believe me when I tell them my birthday is of the, on the 6th of uh, September. Oh, well, if it isn't Isak. Oh, your grandpa, huh? Hmm, it's been a while. Oh, boy. The last time I saw him, he was pacing out by the road as usual. I went and asked him if he'd like any of the food I had prepared, despite my wife's protests. Like many people, she's really quite terrified of them. <sighs> and speaking of my wife, she's still always complaining about how I don't make enough mora. That might explain why she's always mad at me. Bro. Oh, thank you. Thank you for taking care of him. Pat, pat. <laughs> <laughs> it was nothing. Hey, you're looking for him, right? Did he go for a walk and get lost? Something like yeah. that. <sighs> That's no good. Well, once you found him, Come by my place again, and I'll cook a little something for the both of you. Aw, cute. I'm getting some warmth for my legs. I've known you since you were very young. So as far as I'm concerned, you're family. Please feel free to come by any time. Cute. Wow, what a nice guy. He is, isn't he? Okay, thank you, sir. Huh? Huh? What's wrong? He's He's got his sixth sense. Someone just said a pun, and he didn't laugh. Don't say anything for now. I, sir. I mean, what? what why? Hmm. Isak, stay here. Okay. Let's head over there. Stay quiet as you move. Okay. Is there sandworms? What's going on? Can you just try three magi? Okay. 
Where are we going? Oops, wrong. Where are we going? Science <laughs> seems angry. No, he is uh, suspicious. That's what he is. Oh, the dates are in American, so month first, so it's June sixth for her. You're safe. You true. You mm, wait. Uh, again, no wait. It is the correct one because I have her. There she is. Um. Sure, hope you're right. No. Yes. Yeah. Nope. You're you're correct. Oh God, bless. Fucking hell. God bless. It's not the same one. Fuck. Listen. See if you can make out what they're saying. I I would have been so upset if that was true. I mean, I was upset. God, thank you, B, for clarifying that. Have you heard? The mighty King Deshret, the sovereign of our faith, will soon return to this world. <laughs> Lisa's birthday is at 69 for a reason. Don't, don't, don't. My brain. Uh, no. <laughs> yes, of course I have. King Deshret is the one and only true ruler of this land. I've never believed in any other gods. Okay. Still, you say he's coming back, but it sure doesn't feel like life's about to change around here anytime soon. What's your proof? Uh, I made it the fuck up. Haven't you noticed? The village has been getting more deranged scholars than ever. Well, that doesn't mean shit. Delavar was saying that many people also went insane just before the fall of King Deshret's civilization in ancient times. We don't quite know why, but it seems okay. like there's some sort of connection between insanity and King Deshret. How lovely is that? It's great that you're um believing in a god that makes you insane. Isn't it a sign of King Deshret's power that all the mad scholars have disappeared? If you ask me, they must have been chosen as the final sacrifice for King Deshret's resurrection. Oh boy. Huh. Now that you say it, that does make some sense. <laughs> Does this mean our lives are finally going to take a turn for the better? No. Probably more for the worse. Exactly. Those city folks will get what's coming to them. For real. Now, repeat everything you've just said from the very beginning. <laughs> there he is. Huh? The Grand Mahamatra. He's here. Who are you? Uh where did you come from? He materialized from the sand. He's just like that. He is. He just does that. He is one with the sand. My patience is running thin. You heard what I asked. Oh my god. Look at him! Yeah, bro, this guy's bro. something else. Just look at his eyes. One wrong move and he's gonna flay us alive. Let's yes. not get on his bad side, okay? I am no match for this guy. Oh, okay, good sir. W what is it you would like to know? Good sir. Tell me about King Deshret's resurrection. Yes. Well, I I only know a few things from hearsay. Slay. I went for a drink the other day and heard others talking about a rumor that the madmen will disappear and that King Deshret will return to this land. I'm not making this up. I swear. Okay. <sighs> I love the low poly fucking lips this guy got. Hey, it's like he's got the torn, go on. Most torn up. Keep talking. Thingies. It's true. It's all true, sir. We desert folk have had more than enough of those people at the academia. They keep sending us all their mad scholars and won't let us have a good life. Would you want to live like this if you were in our place? The radicals were even more thrilled than me when they heard the news. We're all praying for King Deshret's speedy return. Delavar also said that once King Deshret yeah. returns to our side, it's only a matter of time before we conquer the land on the other side of the wall. They're oh. all willing to serve under King Deshret and fight for a share of the glory. What wall? Is that so? Uh, seems like he still wants to know more. Keep talking. <laughs> Keep digging your grave, baby. Ah, uh, got it. I, uh, at first... I told myself it was just the drink talking, uh -huh. but then all the mad scholars vanished without a trace, just as the rumor said. Uh huh. P please don't beat me up just for mentioning these rumors. I if I'm guilty, 
then everyone else around here is also guilty. I'm just saying what the others said. Jesus. The people here really like King Deshret, but dislike the Dendro Archon. The Academia is probably the true target in their, of their hatred. Yeah. Where is this radical person you talked about? It's all Atham. I haven't run into him over the past few days, so he probably hasn't been around the village. What about you, man? Have you seen him at all? Man. Uh, no, uh, not at all. We wouldn't dare lie to you. He's really not here right now. Sounds like you're not too close with the radicals. Bless, otherwise you'd be, you'd uh, be no, dead. No, uh, of course not. All we know are their names. I have many ways to stop you from talking. And many others to stop you from sending warning messages. That's so hot. So you'd best just stay home and hope I don't hear of you trying to contact anybody. <laughs> don't do anything until I've gotten to the bottom of this. Try something foolish, and even Candace won't be able to protect you. That's so hot. Threats of violence? We love that. Yes, yes, got it. We'll do just as you say. Just... Yippee. <gasps> That's Kerbaimon half to death. Sino is pretty terrifying. Good thing I'm not one of your enemies, but I might be. Hmm. That's an answer. He didn't try to reassure us at all. It's like he's used to hearing that. Yeah. Oh, Paimon bets lots of people have told him that before. All the more reasons for you to not get on his bad side. I heard that. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's part of being a matra. Yeah. The rumor we heard just now seems like a strong lead. But we need to check a few more places. Maybe we could check the scholars' homes. Maybe we'll find something there. Very well. Yay. I have Isaac! a good idea. Hello, Isaac. Uh, I am here. Hello, you are. Hi, Chetty. Where's your grandpa's house? Did I miss you entirely? Yes. Hi, Chetty. Sorry, I didn't say hi to you. Hi. Uh, they are so desperate for for non-punishment. Um, and Paimon did get uh, humbled for sure. Well, I can take you there. Just follow me. Yippee. Let's go. A little bit of breaking and entering. Hi Join there. The and embrace a wonderful new We're life. following the guy. I love that he just runs so flailingly. Grandpa, oh, he likes to be alone. Uh, sometimes he stares at the sky in a daze, and other times he just pokes at the ground with his fingers. Uh huh. Every now and then, he yells out at the top of his lungs, so a lot of people are really scared of him. But he's a good person, really. I know he is. I swear, he, he's just like my real grandpa. Uh huh. I'm sure he is. Sure he is. Where are we going? Hi. Rose depressed. Well, this is where Grandpa usually stays. I see. There sure isn't much here. What's that smell? Sorry, did you kind of catch a faint whiff of incense? No. No. Incense? Uh, please don't say it's the same one as before. It's definitely that one. But are you okay? Are you getting dizzy or need to lie down? The There's a scent that you can sense, but I can't. Yes? A certain traveler here once passed out from that smell. Thankfully, Tymeri saved the day! And then he gave us a long lecture to explain all about how it worked. Yay. So, you know Tainari. We do! Huh? You know him too? Are you two friends? Well, are they? Yes. Yes! Very... Hmm. Matter of factly. Now that I concentrate, I can also make out the scent of incense. Wait, surely Tainari didn't lecture you too. What do you think? No, no need. I can handle. I can't handle the scent very well. Did you first encounter this scent at Tainari's house? No, it was in the forest where a scholar was meditating. In the forest, from a scholar. Let's keep looking for more clues. It'd be more efficient if we split up. Let's keep looking. Well, 
there he goes. Um, are, we, are we gonna look for anything specific? No, just using elemental sites just in case. Hello. Hi. What are you doing? Observe. Looks like someone has been living here in this entire time. Crazy. Observe goods. These are all daily necessities. Crazy. Uh. Uh. Anything? Ooh, wait, observe what? What cave? No, I wanted to observe the cave. Hello? Alright. Sino! Where the fuck did you go? His bro. Oh, he's sad. Hmm. He's kneeling. Hi. What you doing, buddy? There's footsteps. Hmm? What are you looking for, Sino? Footy steppies. Here it is. Here's what? Take a look right here. There's literally nothing. Uh, Paima doesn't see anything. Exactly. Although the traces have been completely buried in the sand, there are footprints here. And you know that how? From the size and shape. They belong to an adult male. This pattern is a common one from this area. Local shoes. This was probably someone from the village. Big brain. The scent is quite faint. But still extant. The footprint's head in that direction. You mean someone else has been here? But who would come looking for Grandpa? He doesn't have any friends. Huh. We'd have to ask whoever lured him away with the incense. Lured him away? So that's what happened. Huh? So you can lure someone away with just a scent? You get lured away by food all the time. Hey! What's wrong with liking good food? Everyone's got something they love in life! Well... Exactly. Most scholars are fond of incense, since the smell supposedly helps them clear their minds and discover new knowledge. I see. Even deep within the clutches of madness, they still yearn for their knowledge-seeking days, and will follow the scent whenever it presents itself. Bro, is Loki roasting him? No, Grandpa. Baby. So, someone's taking advantage of their weakness? Huh. Still, why would anyone want to abduct all the scholars? Is it to resurrect King Desha? Are the rumors really true? That's the only way lead we have Could so far. Could the disappearance of all the mad scholars have something to do with the radicals? Maybe. It's highly likely. Please, you have to save my grandpa. Grandpa's never done anything wrong. Please help him. Of course. Sounds like we'd better help get him back. Don't you worry, Isak. We won't let whoever took him get away with it. Yay. Let's head to Aru Village and inform Candace and the others about what we learned here. After that... We'll set off to find the scholars. Yippee. Alright. Uh Village Chief's house. Also, I am gonna look up one quick thing. Really, really, really quickly. Um Eleven Harbingers Reddit. Just one quick tiny old second. Okay. This one is still a short one, so Act 5 is the long one. We should be alright. Otherwise I would have said we might need to sp split this, but you know. Where is the green fuck? In this house? Probably, right? Yay. Hi. Kind of the eye. That's nice. I'm gonna have to mark it. Sorry. Sorry. We'll we'll continue with the quest in a second. Ta 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 ta. Wrong one. There it is. Yes. Boink. Done. Donzo. And there we go. The missing village keepers. Oh, Paimon. Oh, Paimon indeed. Right. The darker fabric definitely looks a lot better. That'd be my choice, too. <laughs> We're back, Candace! We've got a lot to tell you! 
Yay. Hello. Ah, welcome back. Ay ay ay. <laughs> Sounds like everyone's friends already. Yay. Oh, Dia's here too. Dia. I mean, she was there the entire time. Where's all hate them reading his book in the corner? Like the antisocial scholar he is. You bet. So, everything goes smoothly? Reasonably. Okay. Hmm? I'll hate them didn't go with you? No, of course not. They're too hostile. We haven't seen him at all. Did he? Did he? Is he the one who's trying to, to resurrect King Deshret? Huh. I saw him around the village entrance earlier and figured he was investigating with you. I guess he must have gone off on his own. Of course. Did you find out anything useful? You tell Candace, Candace and Dia everything you've I learned. I see. So someone used a kind of incense to lead the exiled scholars away from the village. <laughs> Where is he? Gone! I'm sad now. Where is my boy? The resurrection of King Deshret? First I've heard of it. Oh? Far as I know, the Radical? kind of incense you just mentioned is only popular beyond the wall. Scholars are fond of it, but as you can see, there aren't many scholars still studying around these parts. No seller would be able to make a profit here. Maybe he has a tummy ache. Maybe he does. Maybe he's just looking for a specific plant out in the desert. Not to, to mention help. making incense is a labor-intensive process. You won't see anybody in the desert with the patience to make or sell something that requires that kind of effort. Oh, Hatham, don't you dare? Uh, like, uh, resurrect King Dad It seems yeah, someone don't. from beyond the wall must have been supporting this. Makes sense. Hmm. So what should we do then? Do we go back to the academia and search for leads there? Well... If it was any other day, that would be your next logical step. But today, you've got me on your team. So you get an extra tip. Oh? Didn't you say that the villager got his news from the tavern? Well, I also like to drink at the tavern, so I know a thing or two about these radicals he mentioned. Hey. If Paimon remembers correctly, the leader of the radicals is some guy called Delavar. Ah, yeah. Delavar, the scar-riddled bandit, Enger, the wide-eyed butcher, and Jabari, the ducktail bearded crook. The whole lot of them are known around these parts. Huh. I feel like I've heard these names somewhere before. You? You? There in the corner? Just... I feel like Sino knows that he's there. These guys have one thing in common, and that's being broke. The rougher life gets, the more they want to believe in King Deshred. Way they see it, King Deshret's resurrection is their only chance at overthrowing the academia. Why am I so pale? The light is too strong. Get away, light. I don't want to light. It's too much light. God damn it. <laughs> I need like actual blackout curtains for when I film here. Throwing all of Sumeru into chaos is the only way to change the way of life here in the desert. Anyway, that's my guess why they've chosen to become radicals. Of course you know, he's the Mahamacha. Truly. Dia! You're amazing! You really know this place inside and out! Damn, Dia, you didn't have to say it like that. But Dia, I... Ha, <gasps> oh, Dia's winking at me. Maybe I should stay quiet for now? Yes, you should, because there's a person right there. Uh, hello, Nan! <laughs> no Merc can afford to slack off on gathering intelligence. Every more I've spent in the tavern has been a valuable investment. Huh. Let's head out. Now hold on, you're staying right here, Sino. Oh? <laughs> Why? Aru Village is not a big place. Outsiders stand out here like a sore thumb. I'd bet word about you has already gotten out. The desert is unforgiving, so the way of life here is also a lot tougher than on the outside of the wall. You survive on making connections out here. Compared to you, mercs like me are just third-rate amateurs. I've got no actual fighting skills to speak of. But that also makes it a whole lot easier for me to gain the locals' trust. You say that, but you're like the flaming mane of the desert. Aren't you like really good at fighting? Question mark, question mark. I need to go around and ask some questions. But it'll be difficult if you're with me. <sighs> Fine. Good. Then we've got a plan. The Traveler and Paimon will go to Caravan Rebot with me, and we'll try our best to figure out where the Mad Scholars have been taken. Sino, you'll have to stay in the village and continue investigating on your own. 
Huh. Man, the uh, quest is so good. I hate how dirty Hoyo delivered did her in gameplay. Yeah. All right, sounds like a plan. Fair point. Yeah, now we got mo a moment of peace, huh? Hello, the blue one. Sino, please don't take offense. I'm sure Dia just wants to help everyone solve their problem as quickly as possible. That's why she can be so straightforward at times. I don't mind. Oh, you don't? Ah, I see. Well, from the way you were staring out into the distance, we thought you might have been mulling over Dia's words. <sighs> no, I'm used to being treated that way. Oh no, baby! It's natural to fear strength. I take no objection to it. <laughs> it's natural to fear strength. Jesus. All right. Karan Ribot. Well, also, where the fuck is that? Is it up there? It's like up, up, up there? Well, I mean, I'll have time to find that one. It's fine. It's fine. Come on, Ribot. Let's go. Jesus. I just get blasted to fucking bits every time. Well, here we are again! Yippee. Sounds like you're starting to get familiar with the area. Yay. Paimon's amazed every time we see the wall of Samiel. How can a wall this tall even exist? It's almost unreal. I know what you mean. I had the same question every time I walked this way when I was a kid. Hmm. Also, why is this high wall here? And can a wall really block sandstorms? Oh, fair point. Fair question. It was only after I grew up that I realized the wall of Samiel isn't just there to keep out the sandstorms. It serves a more important purpose, keeping out people like us. Oh. Sumeru is run by wise and mighty sages. To them, us desert dwellers are nothing but tools that can be used and discarded at their whim. We're cheap labor, like livestock, but easier to control. Nothing more. Even if a child from the desert got the chance to obtain an Akasha terminal, almost all their requests for knowledge would be denied. The academia believes we're underserving. Racism, yeah, that is class A racism. Geniuses like Satari are one in a million. The other children never get a single chance to try and rewrite their fate, even though the academia knows very well that we're humans, just as they are. That's terrible. It's racist. I would tear down this wall with my own hands if I could. We will. I understand how she feels, but I hope she doesn't do anything drastic here. <laughs> Jesus. I understand. Hey, Dia. Uh, you're not thinking about doing anything scary, are you? Also, Paimon and me currently just entirely blown out. I'm gonna... Sus... You know, I mean, I know I'm white, but like, come on. There we go. A um, little bit. A little bit. Wait. There. Just so I don't look too blown out. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, not at all. Fight into, this place fight just into the wall. gets me thinking, that's all. That's fair. Besides, we're here to procure information, aren't we? Yep! We gotta catch those- Shh! Caravan Rebot is crawling with people, so be careful what you say. Yes. We don't want anyone to find out what we're here for. Fair point. Our mission started the moment we arrived here. Let's go check out the tavern. Maybe we'll find someone I know. Oh, hey. Sorry. Oh, hey, Tom! Alright, let's see you. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Right, where are we going? That's the tavern. All right, we got it. Getting there. Hello. Just our luck. None of them are here today. Such a bombastic side eye. You mean you don't see anyone you know? Dia, is that you? <laughs> what a coincidence. You here for a drink too? Huh? Hmm? Zaki. <laughs> Finally, a friendly face. Yay! Hi, you. Oh, and who do you have with you here? Guests from another land? Uh, 
more like a different world. Hi, nice hello, to meet you. Hello, hello. I'm Zaki. Dia's, uh, how would you put it? Drinking buddy? <laughs> We've had drinks together a few times. You could say we go back a ways. Cute. Anyway, as far as my friends here, they aren't too shabby, are they? You rarely see any outlanders so friendly and respectful nowadays. Hehe, <laughs> too friendly. Friendly! <laughs> Two types of people. Wait, where the... Where the fuck is that chat not updating? Wait, one second. What's happening here? You go... No, wait, wrong, wrong chat. It's not that chat, it's this chat. Chat, chat. Why? Why does chat not want to... Oh, look at that. Yay. Chat is just behind. There we go. My bad. There we go. Also, you. There. So, there. Absolutely. The duality of chat. <laughs> Much better than those people on the other side of the wall. So, Dia, are you looking for someone? Yeah. Have you seen Enger, Delavar, or Jabari recently? Ooh. Oh my god, I love your wallpaper. Oh yeah, it's uh, Wang Shuin. Uh, it's one of the one of the um, what you call it? Um, concert arts, um, which is quite fun. Um, I really like it. It's cute. It's cute. Er, phenomenal, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I did not obviously draw it myself. This is stuff that has uh, been drawn by the people who created the game, you know, who made it. Because I think it's really cool. Of course I have. Matter of fact, we were all here drinking together just a few days ago. I've got a spice trading deal from another nation. I thought maybe Delavar and his friends might be interested. Know where I could find him? Ah, how thoughtful of you. Then I assume you also know that Delavar's been having a hard time making ends meet these days. So, you came here to help him out? Yeah. Hey, keep it down. Let's just say I prefer to keep this deal a secret. Y'all at Caravan Rebot are like family. If there's more to be made, why not do it together? Besides, Delavar and his friends have muscle. They'd be a good fit for escorting the goods. Fair point. Can't wait for the anime. Yeah, it's bound to come out at some point. <laughs> yes, how considerate of you. Delavar's my friend too, so of course I can take you to him. Come with me. Yay. I feel like this is leading us straight into a trap, but like, all right. Why the f- why the f- I was gonna say, why are you so far away? But it's fine. It's gonna have to walk a bit of ways. Come on. Uh, okay. Body and mind. Yes, yes. Yappers is what you are. Do you just go here or are you on the other side of this weird wall? No. Seems to be the place. It it's poss like the way he said it, the way he said it, it sounds like a trap. Uh it does sound like a trap. It sounds like he knows that she's not here for a spice deal. Um, oh yay, storm. It feels like that anyways. Funky. Storm. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Yep, this is the place. This place is practically deserted. What are they doing in a place like this? Arresting you? <laughs> Why don't you take a guess? Go on, a wild stab in the dark. <laughs> You're like lambs to the slaughter. I... I told you so. That was... I, I'm not even surprised. I was like, I, I looked at these guys and was like, oh yeah, this is this is a trap. I I knew from the moment he was like, ah, oh, of course I can take you to him. It's not, it's not friendly. Uh, 
You're surprised? Oh no! It's an ambush! No way. Well, we're gonna have to fight. You called it, I did. Ugh, what's this all about, Zaki? You got lulled into a false sense of security, Dia. Come on, Dia. You really think we didn't hear about what you said back in Aru Village? The boys have kept a close eye on you from the moment you set foot there. Oh boy. Not only do I know that you're looking for Delavar, I also know that you've teamed up with people from the Academia to look for the missing scholars. So, you've been watching us from the very beginning? Uh-oh. I'm a new leaving Sino behind was a mistake. <laughs> we can do it. <laughs> and you take left care the strongest that. one in the village, didn't you? Who do you think you are? You really thought we'd fall for your little business deal nonsense? I will kill each and every one of you. So you and Delavar have been partners all along. Of course. <laughs> Dia, I guess it's only natural for a traveling mercenary like you to be out of the loop. Those of us who hang around the tavern have stronger bonds than you think. Oh boy. But you got one thing right. We're all looking forward to an uprising in Sumeru. There's nothing more we'd like to see than the desert folk overthrowing the Academia. Uh, <laughs> he's clueless. If that's the case, then I'm sure Delavar wouldn't miss a second of it. I'll be honest with you. If it weren't for what you said in the village, your little monologue about the Wall of Samuel would have convinced me that you're one of us. Oh, bro, I thought he had like a fucking voice changer on, but I think that's just his voice. <laughs> Illy moment. Delavar. And Enger, you're here too, huh? Yeah, yeah, those two. Long time no see, Miss Mercenary. You should have known the traitors are what us followers of King Deshret despise the most. Mm. Dia, I thought that you, a fellow desert dweller, would understand why King Deshret is greater than the Dendro Archon. Little did I know, you don't deserve to join us. Ah, oh, bro. <laughs> yeah, gee, what a missed opportunity. Adopting radical views and kidnapping innocent scholars, all because of some baseless rumors. <laughs> Anything else I'm missing out on? See? There you have it. Mercenaries are just a bunch of faithless scum with only one thing on their minds. Mora. Pathetic. You're all like a pack of street rats. And you're any better? You're not wrong. Mercenaries are driven by Mora, and my faith lies with whoever's paying me. As long as there's a profit to be made, anyone can become my friend. Sag, we're just friends for Mora. Enough talking! Get him! No. All right, are we fighting? <laughs> Just as I expected. Let's teach him a lesson, traveler. We will. Can I actually fight with you? I don't think we can. I think, yep. Huh? Oh. Punchy. Huh. Whirling snow. Come here. Let me weave you a bird. Kami Sato Art. Sometsu. Yeah, yeah. Get fucked, me. Oh look, a take flight thingy. Dia, we did it. Impossible. <laughs> dead. How could you? He's just dead on the floor. He's just completely passed the fuck out. We knocked him up. So, what dead. do you think about your meticulous network now, Zaki? Dead. How did you say it? It's only natural for a traveling mercenary like me to be out of the loop. I'm guessing your informant told you that I'm just an incompetent merc with no real fighting skills, correct? I mean, that is what I said after all. I'm starting to fall in love with Freeze Team, right? This is not even like the optimal Freeze Team. Uh, the optimal Freeze Team for uh, Ayaka and Riesli would be, uh, you know, Freeze main DPS, Riesli or Ayaka, Shenhe, uh, Kokomi, and Kazuwa. I'm slowly building up to the perfect Freeze Team, um, with starting with Kazuwa. Uh, but it's gonna take me a while. So this is essentially just a, a bunch of substitute characters that are not perfect, but work. But like, yeah, three team, mwah. And of course you would believe everything he reported. The only thing you know about me is that I'm a mercenary, but you've never seen me in action. Teehee, it's so fun to play with, yeah. Even though you heard we went to handle monsters together, you believed that Candace was the only one doing all the real fighting. That so-called flame main is just a fraud. She admitted it herself. She just uses her connections to gain the trust of others. That's what you thought, right? 
You lied in the village because you figured that we'd have people watching you. <laughs> and you were stupid enough to fall for it. I figured as much the first time we drank together. You all thought you were so smart. Pathetic. <laughs> With one last swift kick, Dia knocks Saki unconscious. Okay, that should be all of them. That is actually so sexy. So you've been planning this yeah. since we were in Aru Village? I figured. I was like, why are you telling me that you're just a, you know, a, a baseless No mercenary. task can be done without preparation. Oh, fair. I just happened to notice a couple suspicious looking people while you were out investigating. Oh, but instead of catching them right away, you let them report back. To get to the root of the problem. Yay. That's how it is. Those two who were snooping around were just a couple small fries. Yeah. If we want to get the real catch, we have to be patient and give it some time. This act is G's act, not gonna lie. Real. So those names you oh, mentioned. You mean the funny names she mentioned back in Uncle Ampu's house? The Wide-Eyed Butcher, Scarborough Bandit... Uh, um, uh, Paimon can't remember them all. That's just a bunch of drunk talk. Enger and Delavar like to talk themselves up when they're drinking. Enger, the wide-eyed butcher, and Delavar, the scar-riddled bandit, are the nicknames they came up with for themselves. Cute. There's a chest there. Alcohol has a way of making people share what they really think. Mm -hmm. So Enger and Delavar are always rambling in the tavern about how King Deshred is a superior deity. Of course. Candace will treat them nice. Get great hospitality. What about Zaki? He's just a numbskull who fell right into our trap. Zaki was probably the best hidden of them all. My initial plan was to find Delavar first and then try to track him down. So who was the ducktail bearded crook? That's what you wanted to ask when we were at Uncle Anpu's house, right? Jabari is one of the villagers you talked to. You know, the one who wanted to treat Isak and his grandpa to some food. Oh. Wait! So he's a radical too? No, he isn't. I just needed to tack on a random villager name to make the eavesdropper think that I was making some wild guesses based on my impressions. Ah, uh, fair. Wow, what a genius idea! Well, that's an expert mercenary for you. Ah, you're too kind. It was straight from the usual playbook, if I'm honest. Honestly, but like still, you've got the playbook memorized. So, that thing you were saying before... Is it really true? Hmm? About what? About how mercenaries only care about Mora. And that anyone's yeah. a friend as long as there's a profit. <laughs> Paimon's like, um, you are only with us because of the Mora. Does that bother you? I don't think you're that kind of person. What makes you so sure? Oh, jeez. Because you, because even without an employer, you're still helping us out. Uh. Dia? Do you dislike the Dendro Archon like the other desert folk? Do you? <laughs> you two are pretty sharp. No, I don't have anything against the Dendro Archon. Oh. Her hair's shaking. I've heard a lot of nice things about the Lesser Lord from Dunyarzad. I can understand her devotion and gratitude. Dunyarzad's just an ordinary person. There's no way a god would be so involved in the lives of everyday people, unless they were truly compassionate. Fair point. I've begun to realize that the sages are behind everything that's happened recently. The radicals' blind belief in King Deshret, making the Dendro Archon out to be an enemy. Tch, it's all the academia's trickery. Yeah. But I see through it all. And unlike them, I can never be hostile towards anyone who's never done anything wrong. Dia. Anyway, looks like we're done with business here. Traveler, lend me a hand. Let's tie him up and bring him to the village. Yippee! Alright. We're in the village now. I think. Maybe. Yes. Teleport. This should be all of them. I'll let you take it from here. Great hospitality, of course. Alright. I'll be in touch. Until then, please stand by. Of course, we would not dare to do anything Candace, less. do you need any help? Candace will be okay on her own. I trust her, so you can too. Yippee. She's been guarding Aru Village for quite some time now. If anyone is qualified to question the offenders, it's her. Yay. While I'm questioning them, why don't you pass some time by exploring the area? Of course. I'll meet you back here tomorrow morning, Traveler. All right. 
Got it. Sounds As good. As for these idiots, let's just hope they live to see another day. Is that a threat? Probably is. All right. Well, six to twelve. Well, Thea. Hi, girly. Candace is an expert at dealing with people like this. All we have to do is wait for her word. Yay. All right, we wait. We wait. I mean, I am gonna try. Since we have to wait anyways, I'm gonna try and see if I can get the den dendroculi mother bitch <laughs> from up this mountain. I don't know where it is. I'm gonna try, however, to see if I can get there. Uh, can I? I don't think I can climb that, can I? No. I can't climb this either. Uh, well. Can I get a piece? I mean, there's one, but that's, that's not gonna get me up. I wanna go up, Stay up. Safe. Mm. Don't get hurt. Okay, got it, dude. I'll be careful. At least I'll try. There's a Join the Aramites and embrace a wonderful new life. Okay. Got it. Uh yes, that green fuck as you <laughs> like to call them. I I um I love the green fox. They're, well, I don't love them. They're just really hard to find. Also, it kind of keeps looking like I, I'm trying to look up Ayaka's skirt. I swear to God, I'm not. I'm trying to find if I can see it from down here. The, um, the, um, the, the, the Dendroculi. Sweet. Oh, look. No, wrong button. Come over here. Good. All right. Sorry. God, who's got pants? You've got pants. Um, can I get up there? I can probably try, can't I? Alright. All of these are so hard to fucking climb, I swear to god. But I think this is the only wall that I can actually scale. So let's... Okay, stop breathing in my ear like that. Just get up the mountain, dude. We love the green fox. Alright. We still got time. We still have to wait through an entire night and morning, so. I'm gonna probably time skip the last few. <laughs> Stop that. But. I'm still gonna try and see if I can get that. Shut the fuck up. Um. Come on. Uppies. There you go. This is probably also where we're gonna go because that is, in fact, the uh, the mausoleum of King Death or Dishret. Dishrat. Dishwet. Okay, one second also. Nice. Yippee. Okay. Body and mind. Mm -hmm. So it means I went all of this way for nothing. Because apparently it's not up here. It's uh, evidently down one. Underneath, maybe. Something, something. Huh? Okay. I suppose, wherever the fuck that is. There's a fishing spot. Um, why is Pro moaning? I mean, it's kind of like, uh, fucking Lisa in the Japanese dub. You can only use that special camera by Charlotte's skill. Uh, yeah, I have been to Fontaine and got that camera. Interesting. Give me your boxy, boxy, boxy. Ah, bro. Da -da -da -da. Why are you looking for exactly? Um, the 
The dendroculi. That is somewhere over here. <laughs> Technically, but I don't fucking know where it is exactly. It's supposed to be around literally right here. But no idea where it actually is. Hmm. Yay. Otherwise we'll just teleport up and um anything? No. And continue with the main quest <laughs> through time skips. Yeah, nothing. I have no idea, but apparently there is one right there. I just don't know where. The Dendroculus list. Yeah, see there's a star there. I just don't know. Are you inside the house? In the corner? Where are you? Are you hiding? Yes you are, you little fucker. Well, found it. We're good. Oops. Wrong. Uh, there you are. So all our village ones are donezo. <sighs> Alright. Earthquakes and sandstorms, for sure. Alright. Uh, tomorrow at 6. It's gonna be a... Uh, we're gonna be uber mega on time, actually. Hello! Mog, I'll be there with you on the second. Alright. Hello. Hi. Hey, dear! Hello, dear. Right on time. Always. Did you learn anything from the criminals? <laughs> we'll know any moment now. Paimon's been wondering. You seem to know Candace pretty well. Have you been friends for a long time? Possibly. We've known each other for some time now. She's a pretty interesting person. Even though she's an extremely strong warrior, she never misuses her powers against others. Yay. Oh, Paimon knows what you mean. Like a lot of martial artists say, never take the fight outside the ring. Ooh. Yep, I guess you can put it that way. It takes strong convictions to be as dedicated as she is and shoulder that kind of responsibility. Fair point. Us mercs, on the other hand, we pretty much live from one day to the next. Fair point. Also, um, this jar um, has ears. I wonder if Sino knows. Well, Paimon thinks you're great too. Oh, Paimon, how cute. Poured crumbs all over my fucking mat. Really? Thanks for that. Cutie. <gasps> Hi, Sino, how you doing? Do you also, do you also want a compliment? here and he's pretty early too hi there yes i was here yesterday to help out a little by help out a little do you mean you scared the living daylights out of them to help out by doing what sharing some interrogation techniques like i said oh um you mean you taught candace some more persuasive methods right <laughs> come on in everyone so descriptive Come on, let's go inside. Let's. Okay. Enter the house. Yippee, yippee, yippee. She is right. Candace, where? Whoa, you look furious. <laughs> Do I? gave it away oh boy oh there's no mask that can hide true bloodlust cover up your eyes and it'll still show itself at the corners of your mouth oh perhaps i need to work on my composure oh you're doing great though. still it's perfectly understandable why i'm angry i'm sure everyone present would agree uh yes yes ma'am <laughs> please don't beat us anymore <laughs> we're gonna die <laughs> Please don't beat us anymore. Actual threats of violence. Oh boy. Well, 
looks like Sino taught her well. <laughs> she mastered it really quickly, too. Now she's just as terrifying as he is. You fear death yourselves, yet you do not hesitate to place the lives of others at risk. <laughs> the absurdity is mind-boggling. The ones you call mad scholars are known to us as the village keepers. They are vital members of our community, and some even count them as family. Mm -hmm. You come here to my village, and you treat my people as nothing more than stepping stones towards your goal. Tell me, what would you do to you in my position? Hard eyes, motherfucker. Cause same. Cause same. Uh, mercy! Please have mercy! No. You've made your bed. No lie. We may all be desert dwellers. But there is one thing that I understand better than you. The resurrection of King Deshret will only result in war. And war serves no one. Well, no one but the Academia. The people of Aru Village care Possibly. little about which god is in power. Life may be tough and tiring, but we wish to preserve our way of life. A war I... would only cause us to lose all that we have. And that is not a responsibility that you can afford to shoulder. Exactly. Uh, we understand. We're sorry. You better. I'll tell you everything I know. Please, just let us go. They're just like children who reach too far into the sugar jar. I'm listening. Uh, you might not believe this, but it wasn't us who came up with this idea. Someone was spreading rumors in the tavern. That's how we ended up hearing about King Deshret's resurrection. I see. Some mystery man told us that mad scholars will make the perfect sacrifice to usher in King Deshret's resurrection. They give their lives, and we can get anything we wish for. That's too good to be true, and you should know about They're that. They're called village keepers. Slip up again, and you'll regret it. Getting threatened by a short king is always just, you know, dangerous. Ah, yes, sorry! <laughs> it was all that mystery man's doing. He told us to spread the word about King Deshret's resurrection and talked us into helping him. In return, he said he'll help facilitate the resurrection process. I swear to God, if I find out it's it was all Haytham because he was also in Caravan Rebut. If I find out it's all Haytham, we're gonna have words. Uh, where are the village keepers uh, now? I'm not sure. That's one. Huh? One what? Strike. You get a total of three. Then, you die by my hand. What did he do? I forgot. What did he do? Wait, I'm telling the truth. We don't know anything. It was all him. Two. <sighs> Two. like a mom he's like a mom he's like i'm counting to three he got us to lure them out of their houses in the night with some kind of incense we take them to a junction outside the village then the mystery guy takes them from there if i find out it was all hatham if i find out it was all hatham <sighs> three <laughs> three you gotta believe me, please. I'm telling the truth, I swear. Just ask them if you don't believe me. It's like, don't pull us into this. That was indeed the truth. Traveler, go on. Hehe. <laughs> Where are you going? Do you have any idea who this mysterious person might be? Oh, dang, Sino is angry. You have to believe me. If I knew that, I would have told you his name right away. I'm not risking another beating to keep his secrets. No way. He, um, uh, that guy, he wears a cloak. And he's always careful to cover his face. Uh, he calls himself King Deshret's envoy. I believe I may know what's going on. Oh? Uncle Anpu? What do you mean? <laughs> so I Oh, 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 oh. Sino! <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> Smooth. We love that. Oh god, oh god, I just realized I'm 30 seconds behind. Oh no! <laughs> oh hi. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Uh, oh boy. Okay, speak. Oh. 
What did you just do? Did you just go fucking roundhouse kick them all to sleep? Or did you take out your uh, spear? Yeah, YouTube chat has a built-in delay. It has a built-in delay, but it also, like, sends you back a little bit. You gotta, like, make sure you tap forward or just check randomly if you are. Like, if it buffers, sometimes you have to check afterwards uh, whether or not you're still caught up. If my suspicions are correct, this mystery man they speak of could be from the Academia. Fuck, it's all Hatham, isn't it? Hmm. Some time ago, people from the Academia attempted to take the Village Keepers away. I refused, insisting that they are part of our community. I mean, it might not be Elhatham, because that seems so far out of his motives. Like, I don't think he would want to resurrect King Deshret. But, like, if his curiosity is as large as just r deciding he wants to resurrect literal King Deshret for shits and giggles and his own curiosity, I think Sino will personally disembowel this man. It strikes me now that this secretive character shares the same goal they had. Which means it's highly likely that the Academia was purposely spreading a false rumor to trick the Radicals into delivering the Village Keepers right into their hands. Huh. They were the ones who brought them here to begin with. Now they're trying to take them back? We aren't gonna let that happen. Hmm. Not the Academia again. Zoomer City, Satari also mentioned King Deshret's resurrection is just the Academia's misinformation campaign. Just as I thought. Yeah. But what could they want with the village keepers? People are nothing but tools in the eyes of the Academia. A change in their plans likely means they found another way to exploit the scholars. Yeah, fair point. <laughs> Regardless, our top priority now is locating the village keepers. Uh huh. You're right. Isaka's still waiting for news on his grandpa. I. Time to go. Let's leave the village and try to track them down. Let's. Yes. Pack up and get ready to leave. I'm always ready when you are. You got it. Candace, I'll let you deal with the radicals. Leave everything outside the village to us. Yippee. All right. Let's meet back here once everyone's ready. And Candace, please have a calming tea. Make one for Sino too, so we don't just storm in and just kill everybody. I think that would be a bad idea. All right. Trample, trample, trample. All right, Jesus. Hello, you two. You look worried. Thinking about the village keepers? Of course. Yes. I'd look for them myself if I could. As members of our village, each one of them is very important to me. You have a strong sense of belonging here. I guess I'm the opposite. Mercs are stray dogs, wherever they go. Oh boy, that's a quote and a half. Dia, don't say that. You can be a part of this community too. <laughs> Thanks. I'll let you know when I feel like joining. Cutie patootie. Alright. Are you ready? Are you ready? What scheme is the academia brewing now? That is a great question. One I would love you to answer. Okay, so I'll hate them just like in the corner somewhere? No. Like, I'm like, there's a tiny chance that El Hatham might be behind this. There's also a tiny chance, a bigger, more significant chance, that this is a red herring and that we're supposed to believe it's El Hatham, but it's not. Um, it can also just be a random NPC or the Wanderer, for all I know. Who knows? Not me. We'll figure it out. Also, why are you so white? Stop being white. Go go down. Go dark. Oh? Let's get some food in us and now I'll- Woo! <laughs> get scared by I'll hate them Where reading. Where did you come from? Well, as you can see, I am merely sitting here and reviewing what we have deduced thus far. Just book. It's book time. Hey, what's with the silence? He's always silent. Like you me. never think things through before asking questions. I'm giving you some time to make up for that. What 
an asshole. Paimon's so mad. Paimon's gonna give you an ugly nickname. Go ahead. I won't stop uh, you. Um. Never mind. Paimon's got nothing. That's a new. That's a first. There's just nothing super obvious to pick with this guy. It makes it so hard. And what about nerd? What about? What about silly goose? What about? Okay, that's mean. Well, you've heard nothing to suggest I left this whole time. So clearly, I stayed in the village to investigate. Clearly. Anyway, you plan to leave Aru village and keep searching for the truth of this matter, yes? Yes. <sighs> yep. We're not gonna find out anything more by staying here. So we thought that we might as well take the search elsewhere. Huh? Don't worry about it. Uh, enough with the silent treatment! Maybe he's giving us time to think. No. I'm just surprised that you decided to team up with him. Oh, you're looking at Sino. Oh, sorry. All Haytham. You haven't helped us out at all ever since we arrived at Aru Village. Bold of you to question our choices. He's so tiny. Comparison to Latham. Nerdy Pickle Man. I'm here. I made one up for you. Exactly. Nerdy Pickle Man. We love Nerdy Pickle Man in this house. That's true. Yeah, you're all talk. Is he, you know? I mean, he might be. While you were investigating, I had my own work to do, which I've now finished. Great. Really? What is it? Simon doesn't believe you. To be honest, we aren't really a team, so I have no obligation to inform you of my whereabouts. You hurt me. Not to mention that going separate ways allowed me to find some important information that you all had missed. Oh, and how did you know that we missed it? And what is it? What is the... what is it? Sour. Huh? Right here in the village? Correct. Uh-huh. What did you learn? I'm going to take you to someone. But before that, you need to understand where she's coming from. Uh-huh. What does that mean? How do you think the residents of Aru Village feel about what we're doing? Well... In other words, do you truly believe every single word the villagers tell us? That... is fair. You mean, some of them lied to us? I can imagine one of the guys who was like, Oh, that's all I can tell you, bye! Seemed to know a little bit more. Hiding the truth does not necessarily equate to lying. Again, these people have their reasons. Remember what Candace said? Most people in Aru Village don't necessarily care which deity is in charge of Sumeru. That's because whether King Deshret or the Dendro Archon has power is of little significance to them. Fair point. By contrast, the perils of their daily lives are ever-present concerns. They won't simply share everything they know with you without good reason. That's why you believed there was no further information to be found in this village. I wonder who. So you're saying we can find new info from someone we've already spoken to. Glad you're following along. Hehe. <laughs> you're welcome. Among those you have talked to, there's someone who was consciously keeping you out of the loop. In yeah. fact, she's been observing your every move since you arrived. I figured it was gonna be her. The reason being, to someone who only wants to live their life in peace, any external factors introduce unpredictability into the equation. You look like a real fighter. Don't change the subject. It's quite obvious that she's intimidated by Sino's authority and strength. R right. You were asking about the vi I mean, the mad scholars. She corrected herself mid-sentence because she's aware that there are King Deshret fanatics in the village. If she sounds too friendly towards the village keepers, she could easily make herself the radical's next target. I think it's been a few days since I last saw them. I usually go to bed pretty early, so I'm not too familiar with what goes on at night. Remember? She made a point of denying her involvement in anything that occurs at night. But honestly, I feel quite sympathetic towards them. Even though they act a little strange, they've helped me in the past. If it weren't for them, my house would have collapsed long ago. Mm -hmm. After speaking to the village chief, 
it became clear that the village keepers had protected Aru village at night. In other words, the young miss was very much awake during that time. Haha. Uh -huh. Then why would she lie? By getting involved with an outsider, she risks drawing unwanted attention to herself. As for why she might be so wary about all this, <laughs> maybe you should ask her. I'll pass on this one. Fair point. Hi, Daddy. Welcome back. You said that she is afraid of me. If so, it's best if I stay out of this. Or El Haytham is already here? Yeah, we caught him reading outside. Um, he's now letting us in on some knowledge that he has proclaimed. We're on it! Of course. We'll tell you all about it, Simon. Where, where'd you go? Are you hiding somewhere? Where are you, Sino? I want to say goodbye to you, but all right. All white. We'll see. We'll see about this. Yay. Knock, knock. Miss Shawnee, as we discussed earlier, I've brought someone with me. Hee <laughs> hee. Mr. Alhatham, I'm aware of where you stand, but how can I make sure that your friends think the same as you? A lot happened, huh? Just a little bit. Huh? What do you mean? We need to clarify our stance or something? Probably. Go ahead and talk to her. You'll get the answers you want. Go on. Earn her trust. Is it really that simple? Uh, may I call you Traveler? Sure thing, Mashani. Uh, hi, Traveler. I want to ask you something. Do you think the resurrection of King Deshret can truly change Sumeru for the better? No. Why is that? Because it'll only resu result in conflict. Mm, that's very similar to what Miss Candace says. I know you two are friends. That's why I'm willing to talk to you, even though I do have some reservations. Fair. Before, I wouldn't even have the courage to ask something like this. Traveler, do you believe our lives will get better? Hmm. I can't promise anything, but I'll do the best I can. Yeah! We came here from another nation, so it isn't wrong of you to be weary. And we aren't really residents of any one nation. We're actually residents from outer space. But even so, we've met lots of people from different places, and we've always fought for what we believed in. We have friends in Sumeru, and we want to help them. That's why we decided to stay here for a while. <sighs> Yay! I want to trust you. My apologies for posing my questions like that. To be honest, I didn't expect you to come back for more information. Fair point. Well, El Haytham convinced us. Paimon, she just admitted she's not from Tavat. Yeah. El Haytham told us you have your reasons. It's okay. We understand. The fact is that I'm... Only one side of my family is desert folk. I don't really fit in anywhere in Sumeru. Oh. Some believe in the Dendro Archon while others believe in King Deshred. I don't belong to either side, and neither side would want me. Speaking of which, the Radicals mentioned that they despise traitors. Do they just think that anyone who's different from them is a traitor? Apparently. Yeah. Some people can be so narrow-minded when it comes to bloodline and beliefs. It makes no difference what I say or how I behave. I'll always be suspected of having ulterior motives. Slowly, I just stopped talking to people. I pretended not to hear or see anything. All I want is to live my life in peace. Fair. And then it happened. The village keepers who had helped me disappeared with no explanation, and I didn't dare breathe a word about it to anyone. Until now. We'll take care of you that. You can tell them. I'm sure she'll keep your secret. All right, I'll tell you what I told Al Haytham. I actually have a sharper sense of hearing than most. Sometimes, I hear strange crying sounds in the night. Uh-huh. <gasps> there are ghosts? Uh, perhaps. I'm not sure. It's faint, but it's definitely the sound of crying. It comes from far away in the distance, and always carries very raw emotion. It used to be louder and more frequent, but ever since you arrived in the village, 
it doesn't seem to happen as often. And when it does, it's much quieter. I have to focus really hard to make it out. Okay. I confirmed this with the guards on night duty. They also have someone with a good ear, and he's heard similar sounds at night. But, because we're in the middle of a desert, he would rather believe that they are the cries of beasts than ghosts. Oh god. Oh god. Hmm. Could you make out from where the sounds are coming from? There's really nothing around these parts, except for an old hospital not far from the village. I think they used to use it for treating Elazar, but it's been abandoned for years. We need to check out that hospital, yeah, huh? Yeah! Let's go! Yay. Hang on, come with us, El Haytham! Oh. Oh, Shifa. Hmm. I never realized how terrifying that actually sounds, lol. How what sounds, specifically? The- the crying from far away? <laughs> Hello! Lead me places. Hi. Oh, interesting. Ah. Okay, I have to fight! Yep. Hi there. Go on, do your thing. <laughs> My apologies! No, my sword! Oh, there's a... Whirling snow! There's a thing. There's a thing. A tomato. That's not what I meant. Um... Uh... There's a Jinjakule. Hello! Do you want to fight? I just don't want to be bothered. My apologies. Rain outlines your. Yeah. Look at all those radishes. Oh well. Where is? Oh, the thing? is this the place? Oh, it's in terrible shape, and there's sand everywhere. Empty and forgotten. An ideal place to hide people. True. <gasps> Monsters! Watch out! Jesus. The fucking scream from Paimon scared me more than... Whirling... Huh? <laughs> the fucking... Embrace the ice! The monsters <laughs> being there themselves. My apologies! <laughs> so pretty. Yeah, they're crying at night. Yeah. Whirling snow. Come here. Get fucked, meat. Yippee. Oh Jesus. Not you. My pup. Rain cutter. Sakura swirl. Yeah. <laughs> Whirling snow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were easier to deal with than Paimon had expected. What were you expecting? Uh, super strong bandits, or monsters taller than buildings dropping out of the sky, or you know something like that. Jesus. Hmm. Mm hmm. You look super serious. We gotta stay on our A game too. Super serious. So hmm. serious. This is the one. Oh. Wish. Chapunk. There he goes. Yay. How did you know about that? Let's go in and take a look. Stop screaming, Paimon. You carefully scourge scourge the Venom Hospital. Scourge. Mm -hmm. <sighs> hey, oh hey, them. We haven't found Squat. Are you sure we aren't wasting our time here? Patience. Shawnee says she only hears the crying at night. We have time to burn. 
Until then. Yeah. Are you gonna read? Are you gonna read, you nerd? I'm taking a break. You are, of course you are. You can read. <sighs> and just like that, he sits down. <laughs> Wait, he even brought a book to read? Dude, he never leaves the house without this book. Um, also, I am pretty sure uh, he's just very old man coded. This brings a book everywhere. What are you reading? Let Paimon see! Silence. Are we gonna read? Next okay, one? sure. <laughs> hmm. I also love that it's such a tiny book that he can only read it. Like, wait, I've got my normal sized book here. If I put it open, he's he's just grabbing it like this. Not even. Wait, I can't read like this. What are you doing, bro? You need at least one hand inside of the book. Is he doing that? He's not doing that. You need at least to, to, to put it like this. To have like your own little thing. And then you still need your other hand to turn the pages. Why are you being such a pretentious motherfucker? I love you, but come on. Okay, we're gonna go over here. Um, the, this is Shiraya's book. Who is that? Handy book. <laughs> Time to burn with explosives of Nier. <laughs> Is the book tiny or is he huge? Well, that is something we will have to measure out. I have my I have my tape measure, Jesus, right here. We'll we'll figure it out. Huh? It's time to measure. Uh, um, the natural position, which is the positional propensity of an entity in natural motion, in contrast with an object in forced motion. Huh? When free from external influences, every entity displays the tendency to follow its natural trajectory? So? So, um, you got that? Hehe. <laughs> also, ouch. Oh, Paimon gives up! You keep reading your book, see ya! Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. He's just back to read. He's like, I'm sorry they insulted you, book. How so is he real. so relaxed? Look at him, reading an impossible book in a creepy place like this. An impossible book. He's a nerd. What did you think? The book is, huh? Poor Paimon, I feel you. Well, I mean, I would also bring my books to the desert. We could just read side by side. He will read his weird fucking scientific texts and I will read about ley lines and magic forests and a raven called Chainsaw. <laughs> uh, absolutely got it. Well, I mean, if she didn't read it like that, if I would have the text right in front of my eyes, I could probably understand it. Uh, compared to Paimon, mm, well, I mean, I think it's just a... Well, compared to the Traveler. Eh. You know, it wouldn't kill you to read a book once in a while, either. Yeah, and become learned. Hey! Paimon's your Tibet travel guide! Paimon knows plenty of useful stuff already! Sure. And what is that stuff, hmm? And anyway, is that Paimon's fault that the books people read in Sumeru are so complicated? Okay, okay. Paimon's the best. Oh, that's cool. That's a transition tonight. Nice. Ah! Kind of reminds me of Moon Knight. Paimon's getting so sleepy. Did you hear that? Yeah. That kind of sounds like, um... So, uh, in Lethal Company... There is a mod where you can add uh, the creepy pasta of the pale guy, um, and he also kind of sounds like that when you encounter him in the wild. But you know that's just normal crying. I was just very much reminded of that real quick. Huh? What was that sound? I can't really hear it if um there's spilled. Blood. There it is. Yeah. There it is. Spooky noises. It's coming from that direction. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's just reading about the science of velocity. Yeah, yeah. 
It's pretty simple stuff, but you Is know. Is the sound coming from here? Huh. Hyman's not seeing anything. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> He's also shaking his head. There's a trapdoor! You motherfuckers! Can you not see? Hmm? Runners, clickers, yeah. It's from below. Uh, but there's no way we can get down there. It's a trapdoor, for the love of God. Something is off about the interior here. I thought you were a... You're running up for fucking Grand Sage. You can't recognize a trapdoor? I swear to good lord. Hi! Power stands. Oh, that looks cool. Strut. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. He's, <laughs> he's just like the Witcher for real, for real. Uh, the Last of Us moment. Truly. Lol. As I thought, there's a hidden structure. No way! That's what I thought, too. If there's nothing inside, you have to look deeper. Wow! It's like they tucked another hospital in. Mm. Oh, it looks like there are other mechanisms around here. Let's keep exploring. I. Oh, oh. Okay. No more O. Oh. Ah, elemental thingies. Well, all right. I will. Since I don't have all hate them yet. Uh, Sucrose, you get the place. This world is full of. Shush. This world is forfeit. Oh, hi! There you are. What's this about? I was wondering. They look too transparent. Hello? That's... You know. Happens. Yeah, I know she died because you didn't let me fucking jump. Investigate. Cabbage. Cook. Where? On the... Oh, there. I was like, on the... Anvil? Oh. Scarab. Investigate. Who the fuck was that scarab? They look like noctilus jades. That are noctilus jades. Yep. Just imported shiny rocks. <laughs> Destroying your furniture. There's more. No, Lamine! She's dead. Are you proud of me, I'll hate them? Oh look, scarab. No, no scarab. Oh. Oh. Huh. Well, okay. Sorry, dude. No, okay, um. Wait, I'm gonna, uh. Chest. Big guy. Um, confirm. Up there. I'll get there later. Uh, I don't think it's currently important. So I'm gonna... Well. I'm gonna resurrect Lumine. Without, you know wasting my stuff. Let's climb that cactus. Choo-choo! Bonk. There you go. Alright. Back to business. I didn't think it would lead me to a whole cave. I'm sorry. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so we got 
that one. I mean, technically I could get around really quickly, but why would I want that? <laughs> I can walk, can I not? Oh look, sand eels. Scatter! Take I love flight. that her sword gets like um yeah. little vines yeah. on it. Rain outlines your fate. Ha! She uses that. My apologies. Get fucked, mate. Oh god, reinforcements? More sh fucking mushrooms? Witness the power of Gugwa! Huh? Embrace the ice! Get fucked, mate! Thank you. Propagate. Propagate. A propagate. Boop. Like Hello. Lamb the... Like lamb to the slaughter. Your friend already said that. Get better voice lines. Where do you think you're... Uh, to the monument. That's where I'm going. Get fucked. Be you will? Is that a promise? Okay, where's the other guy? Hi, dude! Yeah. Right, can I go inside? No. Hello! Hello! Hi, Queepy. How you doing, Queepy? How's it going, Queepy? <laughs> Queepy man. Yellow. Yellow. What are you? Uh, I've got him like that. I mean, monuments don't have genders. Where's the rest of you? Oh, there's one. Hmm. Run, Lamine, run! Oh, for real, for real? Scatter! You fuck. Alright. <sighs> okay. Uh, Shishi, you're going to get quickly. I want to help. Mhm. Mm yep. I was wondering, do we actually need to go down there? But no. Because I could uh, very much remember there being another one. Just woke up, little headache, but everything good so far. Bad, that's very good. At least something, but the headache sure does sound annoying. Um, we're, we're doing great so far. Oh, yay. Take flight. Um, we've met Al Haytham. He's currently reading while we do all the hard work for him. Well, no, he's not reading anymore, but still, he might as well. With how much work we're doing. Also, I would like to investigate the wheat and those root vegetables. All right, also, give me this. Ooh, do we need an ancient key? How the fuck do we get the ancient key? Well. Where will we find the ancient key? That's also not the greatest. Patient, patient Abbas, male, 23 years old, mole on the left side of the forehead and left-handed. While his condition remains very serious, survival will be difficult without professional medical care. The patient's survivability, once found, immediately inform. Don't give up, stay positive. All beings are under the watchful eye of the divine, so don't ever get up. Give up. Get up. <laughs> the rest of the documents have been rendered unreadable by weathering. I see how it is. I like the little candle. It's cute. A week's meals. Minty bean soup. Tahin lunch. Curry shrimp. Pani puri. Salad. Biryani. Fish with cream sauce. Potato boat. Ashuka, bean cake. The remaining sections are blank. Hmm. 
Okay, so they stopped in the middle of making, um... A list of stuff to eat. Alright. In case of emergency, contact the physician on duty immediately. Monday, Ibrahim. Tuesday, blank. Wednesday, a movie. The reigning sections are blank. So, interesting. That was a bed once. It seems to be the darkened remains of a gem inside the vase. It was probably used to hold flowers. The words for Avin are on the bottom of the bottle. It seems to have been a gift for someone named Avin. You don't say! Love that I can't walk through these clearly. <gasps> clear Look! Fabrics. There's someone over there! Oh boy. We need to be careful. Is that blood? Good idea! Let's approach him slowly without alarming him. Why do they always like to put on some more. use some. Blah, blah, blah. Why do they, they always like to put you for some work? Yeah, you know. We're, um. We're just the mules. Of Wait. The plot. Wait. Do you know him? You're. My father. <gasps> He can't speak, and his eyes are unfocused. But he looks too young to be anyone's grandfather. Also, why is he the only one here? Didn't expect to see him here. You know him? He's Razak, a senior of mine at the Academia. Oh. He's a scholar too? Is he the kind that holds up in a forest and mumbles stuff about training? No. And that's the problem. Razak was never involved in any of those things. He never trained in the forest, let alone reach Satyavada life. So how did he become this? Leaving that question aside for the moment, him being here alone means that we might be too late. Too late for what? Looks like they've already taken everyone away. For whatever reason, they left Razak here. Perhaps they simply didn't have time to come back for him. Hmm. hmm. There are drag marks on the ground. They're clearer by the doorway. Someone was forcefully drawing a cart that was loaded with something heavy. Corpses of the scholars? Loaded with people? That is one possibility. Hmm. It looks like they were in a hurry, as if they were afraid of being caught. In their haste, they failed to notice Razak hiding in a corner. <sighs> The symptoms are identical. Looks like we found living proof. Huh? Symptoms? Why do you say that? Allow me to jog your memory. Recall your time at Port Ormos. Uh, like the... the knowledge capsules? So they were all fed knowledge capsules... to try and see who could stomach using it so they could figure out how to s resurrect King Deshret. Like, they were using them as... test bunnies? That's my theory. Don't you think his symptoms look familiar? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Might be. The Aramite guy who went mad. Oh! Now that you mention it, they're acting the same way! Correct. The Academia is behind all of this. Of course it is. It isn't difficult to deduce their rationale. First, the Academia spread a false rumor of King Deshret's resurrection, emphasizing the role of the village keepers, the mad scholars who were exiled to Aru village. These rumors were all the persuasion that the radicals needed, and those based in Aru village leapt into action. Unbeknownst to them, of course, through rounding up the scholars, they were actually helping the academia. As well as being able to exploit the radicals for their own ends, this scheme has one further advantage to the academia. All the risks and responsibilities are offloaded onto King Deshret's followers. Damn. Life for the desert dwellers has been brutal ever since King Deshret's death all those years ago. Beneath the surface, feelings of desperation are widespread. Many would give everything they have for the prospect of something better. Anyone looking to exploit that for their own ends simply needs to make a few empty promises. Even if complications arise, 
people will see that those involved are all followers of King Deshret and look for no further explanation than differences of belief. A deep-seated mistrust of the desert and everyone in it by the rest of Sumeru will make sure of that. This place is terrifying me. Like the underground space? Fair. The notion of an academia plot wouldn't even cross their minds. It may seem like a simple strategy, but it is able to work wonders under Sumeru's current circumstances. Are you, are you um, calling all of the desert dwellers stupid? Oh, that makes a lot of sense. It's in line with the village chief's theory, too. But there's still one very important question. Wasn't it the academia that brought the scholars to Aru Village in the first place? Why does it want them back now? Fair question. Throughout this process, one thing has changed. The scholars' identity. First, they were scholars. Then, they became lunatics. After that, they were exiles. And finally, they become missing persons. An exile is still patently a living, breathing human being. But when someone becomes a missing person, that is brought into question. If you can't find someone, you have no way of knowing what exactly happened to them. That makes missing people an ideal resource. That is... Bro is traumatized in the background there, yeah. That is insane reasoning. And the fact that you know about this, Elhitham, either means you have experience with that, you know of their plots, or you're just weirdly smart in the way of deducting things and making theories and connections. Resource? For what exactly? Making, like, trying out the, um, knowledge capsule that'll do something. One possibility is that the information in their brains could be extracted into knowledge capsules. See what I'm trying to say? Damn, poor guy. Making emergency food, extracted? of course. Extracted? You mean, canned knowledge comes from people's brains? Yes. With the technology of the Sumeru Academia, it's entirely possible. God, that's terrifying. Perhaps the process caused them great suffering, which is why they cry out in the dead of night when no one is watching them. I like how sus you are of El Haytham. Well, uh, it's, we haven't quite reached the end yet, and I don't know his role in a grand picture. Uh, I know some things, um, and like I am on his side in a lot of ways uh, of like, yes, overthrow the government, but... I'm a little bit suspicious of his methods and what part we play in it because we've been used by this guy before. So I'm just like, wait, I mean, we aren't friends. So it isn't actually entirely morally incorrect um, for him to use our knowledge and our action actions of stuff to um, his advantage. Like it's fine. I get where he's coming from. I would be the same way in his position. Um, but I'm still like, I... <laughs> he's a little unpredictable. And that makes me wary of him until we know everything. Just partners for now. Partners in crime, for sure. Um, I mean, he did explicitly say we're not partners. So I don't know. So, the human brain... Nope! Nah! Hyman doesn't want to think about this! How did you learn of this technology is a valid question that I hoped you'd ask. I'm the Academia Scribe, after all. I'm familiar with their projects. Uh-huh. Anyway, judging by anyway. Razak's state, the contents of a divine knowledge capsule were extracted from his mind. But something went wrong in the process. Or perhaps his curiosity got the better of him, and he used such a capsule for himself. Hmm. Uh, Hyman's a little confused. Can they just use anyone's brain? No, that can't be right. Most of the mad scholars had to make contact with the divine consciousness in the forest. That's what the academia is after. It also is safe to assume that this knowledge capsule has something to do with the Fatui, the doctor, and also the balladeer. They're using divine knowledge capsule to turn the balladeer into a god. Whoosh. We're partners whether he admitted or not. <laughs> 
I mean, me, Delulu, I believe we're partners, but knowing that he doesn't think that way just stumps that belief. The look on your face tells me you've realized the answer. <laughs> that could be any of people who have seen, been exposed to the divine consciousness. That's right. To some scholars, well, gaining knowledge about the gods is their entire life's pursuit. Extracting canned knowledge is just one of the extreme measures they turn to. However, I can't help but wonder. What do they seek to gain from divine knowledge? The academia is going out of their way to look for forbidden knowledge, but what is their ultimate goal? That's a great question. The fuck he has on his ear there? Um, well, they're uh, headphones, technically. Uh, there's a lot of like discourse about it. A lot of people are like, oh, is he deaf and those are just like hearing aids? Uh, they could be noise canceling headphones, they could be normal headphones, they could be an advanced uh, 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 Akasha uh, terminal, but he's got it on both ears, so we don't know. I don't know what it is. Uh, there's fan fiction speculation, there's fan speculation. I don't think there's a def definitive answer. Um, that's not an ordinary Akasha. Akasha 2.0, yeah. I've spent quite some time trying to analyze the contents of the divine knowledge capsule, but to no avail. It seems like my way of thinking is too different from theirs. He's just a special, but like also this like very thin sliver right next to his head. He is wearing a normal Akasha, so I don't know if he would um, have two on at the same time. You mean, you're not even slightly interested in getting your hands on this forbidden stuff? He's so incredibly interested, actually. He's clawing at the, at the fucking bars of the enclosure right now. All scholars seek See? to expand the horizons of knowledge. But I'm not particularly interested in gods, so I don't share their degree of zealotry. Fear? Extracting information from people as if they were lifeless objects? <laughs> if this is the direction of academic progress, then the academia may as well shut its doors. Good point. Sounds like you're really against all this. You're surprised? Of course. The academia's actions run contrary to their rules. Fair point, fair point, fair point. He always wears- yeah, I mean, there's like, this little tube is how it's powered, and it kind of disappears somewhere over his ass. Uh, not that I've looked. Um, so, like, I don't know. Like, this could just be a gamer headset. Like, literally, this could just be a gamer he headset. I don't know if there's anything in, like, his character stories or his voice lines about this thing. I could probably figure it out, but I just haven't yet. <laughs> Worse than the Fatui. Academia is by far the worst ex organization ever. Yeah. The worse than the Fatui, debatable. Uh, I mean, the Fatui themselves aren't too bad. Uh, there is just the Harbingers and the Orders of the Tsaritsa in terms of trying to get all of the Noses from all of the, you know, the Seven of the Gods. Uh, bounding them all together into the Fatui are bad is, you know... <laughs> That's, the game is trying to tell you not to do that. Um, have you watched the Fatui trailer? I have not. Uh, but I might bring it up with uh, Zeke if we want to look at the Fatui trailer after we've watched all of the others. Whether it be academics or knowledge, everything has its boundaries. If those lines are crossed, the rules and order that govern everything in the world will be destroyed. You should. I will. I'll, I'll, I'll write it down and I will bring it up with Zeka so we can watch it in our, like, um, reaction to the trailers. Wait, um, Fatui trailers, uh, Zeke reactions. Yeah. It came before Sumeru Act 1. Okay. Uh, B for Sumeru Act 1. Okay. So we won't be terribly spoiled. This matter needs to be corrected. Just like fixing a typo in a book. Yes. Wait! Didn't you step in to help because you felt sympathy for those poor people? No. Not to be callous, but no. 
My criteria are a little more restrictive than that. Of course there, there is no shortage of suffering in Sumeru, and the same can be said for the rest of Tevat as well. What do you plan to do about that? Save every last person? Or take care of the root problem? Um, probably not. Uh, Paimon's not sure. Your motives are more specific and personal, huh? You can say that. Simply put, I don't blindly place my faith into strength or heroism. I do what I want. That's so sexy of you. The Divine Knowledge Capsule is something I want to investigate in full. That doesn't mean I'm willing to take action for the sake of a few strangers. Uh, so he rejects the notion of greater moral responsibility. He justifies his actions because they are his- they are true through his personal motivations. Yeah, he's- what, chaotic lawful? <laughs> it's like, I have a strict moral code, but good luck fig figuring it out. It's not like him. Might actually be- make for a better ally. <laughs> staring at him it's like hmm you'd make a great ally wouldn't you he's just looking he <laughs> been wanting to say this for a while there are a lot of bad guys in the academia but you're not one of them you're their weirdo <laughs> you're their weirdo okay <laughs> you're probably right <laughs> though I must say I quite enjoy this feeling of being the odd one out <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lumina's thinking of to pull on his banner. I'm thinking of pulling on his banner. I'm incredibly upset that he got- okay, not super upset, but incredibly upset that he got replaced by Baiju on the fucking f second half of the 4.6 banner leaks that we got. Because technically he was gonna be, gonna be there for- with Verine instead of uh, fucking Baiju and fucking the Balladeer. I'm okay. Uniqueness is also an asset, is it not? Yeah, fair point. Wow. He feels special. That's a great way to think about it. Paimon's really impressed. <laughs> if only Miss Shani had a similar mindset, her life would definitely be a lot easier. I'm just a more likable person than her in general. There's nothing more to it than that. A more likable person than, than her in general. I think you have a roommate that would disagree so heavily, my dude. He feels special. He is special. In my heart, he is special. He's special in my... hands? <sighs> so what do we do with that guy? We can't, we can't leave him here. Narcissistic as fuck. Jesus. Yeah! He won't last long if we leave him here. Let's take him with us. You carry him, Alatham. We'll work out our next step after we return to Aru Village. Great point. Jesus, indeed. Are you just going over to our village? Yeah. Okay. Go back to the village chief's house and meet up with everyone else. Well, I want to check out what's down here as well, but I think there's nothing else here. That's all there is. I believe. Is this a mushroom I can pick up? No, of course not. I need to figure shit out. There's a name inscribed in the bowl. Avin. What? If there were encrypted carvings of Abraz, Abaz, and Sugar Jar on them, it would be difficult to imagine that the sturdy clay jar was ever used to store sugar. Well. I guess. It's just the tableware. We already looked at this. Yep. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Alright. Out we go. I mean, we can... I'll take care of the monsters later. But, uh, hands? Um, <laughs> I'm the favorite, favorite child of Mama. Hands? Um, I hold him gently. What do you mean? This is totally We're innocent. Back. Oh, hello, Isaac. This is cute. Ah! Gone. My game likes to close sometimes. You must be tired. You should rest and take some water. Aye, please. Thank you. Stretch, stretch. What's the situation? Speak. Hmm? Who's this? Unfortunately, somebody who's too young to take on the role of Isaac's grandfather. Nevertheless, 
He's one of the people we're trying to find. <laughs> All right. You tell everyone what you saw in the abandoned hospital and share the current theory. So, at one point in time, the abandoned Elazar Hospital served as the academia's site for extracting divine cant knowledge. Yep, pretty much. Their plan must have been implemented at some point before we arrived at Aru Village, since divine cant knowledge has been in circulation for a while now. Yep. Yet, they fled once we were headed to the village, almost as if they knew we were on their trail. Yeah. What? Huh. Oops. Yeah. Sorry. Why is that? You just keep making so many pauses, Sino. I'm sorry I interrupted you. We may have a mole in our midst. Oh, he's. <laughs> One of us could be secretly revealing our whereabouts to the academia. Uh, it could be the kid. You know, the most innocent person around. Paimon? Huh? Are our friendships that shallow? <sighs> Sino? Looks like none of you have realized wherein lies the issue. Care to share your thoughts? Are you gonna reveal yourself as the person who's the mole? Oh, hey, them! It's you, right? Sino, you're the reason why they can predict our movements. Oh. <laughs> I like his little pout. It's like, no. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Choose your next words very carefully. <laughs> it is simply a logical inference. I have my reasons. So what you're saying is... Sino's the mole. But not intentionally. Interesting. And here I thought you were the most suspicious one, I'll hate them. Since you were always acting alone. He's just an introvert. Don't worry about him. I know. You have a point. But I realized something as we were returning from the hospital. Sino isn't like any of us. Huh? What are you trying to say? Do you still remember who you are, General Mahamatra? Well, that's a great question. It's like... <gasps> <laughs> As a Matra, you are no doubt privy to certain kinds of information. Before you can take action against someone, you are required to have all the facts available, including the less than savory details. Simply put, the Academia has traditionally allowed you access to a wealth of sensitive information. Knowing their modus operandi, wouldn't you expect them to take precautions against you? If you want to raise a vicious wolf, you need to make sure that you can avoid its bite. Fair point. The academia is monitoring me? It's kind of like um, in the... with the Winter Soldier. When he was in... Wakanda, he got his new arm out of vibranium and they set in a trigger that makes the arm drop out and that was kind of a betrayal but it's really just to make sure that in a fight they would know how to disable them quickly so yeah i get it it's not that simple the academia has eyes all over sumeru but they have a special protocol for dealing with you every so often comes a nyagarbaha day on this day, the Academia enters new information into the Akasha through knowledge capsules. I remember seeing the thick notebook next to the control panel once. Its contents were all about the General Mahamatra, his activities throughout the day, preferred methods of enacting judgment, everything. Damn. You're saying that the Academia entered my information into the Akasha too? Yes. But what's the point in doing that? My now actions aren't important enough to be added into the Akasha. Well, maybe not to you. The Akasha is capable of computation. <sighs> so, they're predicting you. The Akasha's algorithms are entirely capable of mm. predicting your movements using the data entered. Yeah. When you would depart, the route you would follow, your destination. It knew all of this. Rough. It predicted my every move. Sino's jinxed. The Academia has been watching you longer than you think. However, the fact that you resigned is proof that their suspicions were well-founded. So that's how it is. Sino adheres to his principles so strongly that he's actually a thorn in their side. <laughs> Tenacity of will and steadfast faith are worthless to the Academia. 
They need scholars who are easily pliable and mindlessly go after anything they can profit from. Their microchips are real! No! Sino, don't take it to heart. This just proves how much of a trustworthy ally you are. Huh. <sighs> He's a little bit upset. For real. They escaped because of me. Huh? Don't blame yourself. It's not like any of us would have known. I'll hate them new. Well, but only just now, exactly. I have an idea. Okay. If they predicted my movements, then I might be able to guess where they went. Whoa, you bounced back fast. <laughs> he has to. There is always an opportunity for safety after danger passes. Oh, so that's how it is! Paimon gets it now! Uh huh. If the academia is trying to avoid Sino, then the safest place would be. One step behind him. Oh. Yep, that's right! Fair point. They'll want to proceed in the direction opposite of where I'm going. You're getting smarter, Paimon. Yeah? I must go. Okay. There's also something I want to investigate. Okay. Do we have to split up? He is too hard on himself. He is. I want to go with Paimon. Let's go, guys! After him! Please, wait! I want to go, too! You're staying right here with Candace. Hmm. You want to go, too? Sustia says. So I want to find Grandpa. Sorry. I promise I'll be careful and not cause any trouble. Everyone, I leave him in your hands. All right. Good Lord, why? <laughs> Everyone is so slightly, except Candace. Yay! Let's go! Remember to pack some food with you. We love sus. Uh-huh. Paimon feels like we're missing someone, though. She just left hmm. the room. Dude. Follow Sino. Where are we going? Sino, where are you? Sino! It's so bright. My eyes. Stop. You were so dark earlier. Why are you like this? Sino! Where are you? Got all the way over there, bruh. Whee! Whee! Nice. These four leaf clovers are actually quite uh nice. All right. Get up, get up. Bro teleported. We love that for him. Hello. We're following you. So, where do we go from here? I tell Hatham. There he is. Hi! Sign, do you remember the route you took? Yes. After leaving the village, we should head straight toward the desert. Okay. Let's go. We're following you. Come here. I know the desert like the back of my hand. Is that because you play here a lot? Yep. One time, Grandpa almost got lost in the desert. But I was the one who brought him back. Okay. Yay, for you. There's something here. Oh, on the floor? What's this? Oh, whoa, what's this? The part That pyramid is beautiful, it's right? It's buried in the sand. Hmm. Looks like we'll need to roll up our sleeves and do some work. What sleeves, brother? <sighs> And Paimon thought running around everywhere was already enough work. Now's no time for complaining, Paimon. Also, you float. Okay, okay. So, we have to dig it out? Whatever's down there, it looks like it's buried really deep. With some effort, you managed to retrieve the buried objects. These are likely fragments of an academia-developed device. Something akin to a headset. Yeah. Looks like there were more than one village keeper. They must have been escorted this way because there are device fragments scattered around here. Let's split up and search the area. Chances are that we'll find other things nearby. I. Everyone goes in different directions to start dig in the sand. After a short while, you dig up another device nearby. Is this what we're searching for? It looks kind of scary. Uh, is that even considered a pyramid? Lol, I will look in a second. This is definitely a device used to extract divine knowledge. 
How did it end up buried in the sand? That can't have been part of the plan. They must have been attacked along the way. Possibly. Wait, what? Yeah. Grandpa, I hope you're okay. Oh, Don't honey. worry, your grandpa's gonna be fine. Razak didn't display any signs of starvation or dehydration, which means that they left fairly recently. Yeah. We should be able to catch up. One more thing. Given that the device had been entirely covered by sand, sandstorm. I believe the attack must have happened prior to the sandstorm. Yeah, I agree. Let's keep going. They can't have gone far. Well, they could have. Jesus, where are you going? Ugh, but running on sand is so tiring. But you're flying, aren't you, Paimon? Is flying over sand tiring, too? Ugh, of course it is! Technically, there are two pyramids that are uh, stacked on top of each other, so it's more like a sand uh, clock. Like a... where it goes down, you know, like the sand clock? Voices, you know what I mean. over there. <sighs> it sounds like an argument. Oh. Whoa, you have really good ears. It's the big ones on top. Don't get any closer. They'll notice us. Dia's talking with the Aramites? Hmm. <laughs> Very interesting. Let's listen in. Two pyramids, yeah. I'd call it a pyramid if you get what I mean. <laughs> Set a moment. Hourglass. Hourglass, thank you. Yes, that. <laughs> a, a time glass. A time clock. Yes. Um... But yeah, <laughs> a pyramid. If you had informed me sooner, there'd be plenty of room for us to- I love that the the voices are a little bit further away to show the distance. You're one of us. We would never lie. Scholars. You don't know as much as I do. Need me to- <laughs> I knew it. That's our Dia. Dia? Why would you- Dia! Oh god, Isaac, why the fuck? Hey, what are you doing? Huh? Isaac, you are an idiot and should never have come with us. Didn't you say you'd help me find Grandpa? Why, why are you on their side? You never take children on adventures. This is like adventuring 101. Do not take toddlers on the way. Two adventures! <laughs> well, look who's here. Ain't that something? Ugh, this complicates things. Of course it does. You've betrayed Aru Village? No, I'm guessing it's a larger plan, but whatever. So, this is the great General Mahamatra. Hello. Dear, you'd be better off as my assistant than hanging around with this motley crew. Seen for yourself. I have the means and methods, and my ideals are far more admirable than theirs. I'm not the type that's easily swayed, Raman. You of all people should know that. So, Wait, what's going on, Dia? Whose side are you on here? You can all just shut the fuck up and would have done better listening in than whatever you were doing right now, you idiots. Shut it, Paimon. Yes, exactly. She's either putting up a front and blatantly lying to the others or she's lying to us but at least please just listen and before you just break up a fight it doesn't matter break off a fight whichever side you pick nothing can deter us from the grand mission of resurrecting king deshret once our lord of old returns to this land we will have a new beginning sure face the facts raman it's not gonna happen you should understand that more than anyone have all your years as a merc taught you nothing about placing hopes in a ruler? Yeah, lamau, lamau, I'm a desert dweller and a proud follower of King Deshret. Whether I live by the edge of the sword or in peaceful comfort, my soul will always carry this conviction. Mm -hmm. It's not too late yet. The village keep <clears throat> mad scholars aren't going to bring King Deshret back to life. She did the same thing that... Shiba, Shibari did? No, that's not Shibari, but the one we were talking to with El Haytham earlier. 
You don't understand, my dear lady. Pursuing our faith is our purpose in life. Even if the chance of success is one in a million, we must be willing to give everything we have. Even if it'll expose you to the Academia? Even if they end up disbanding the Aramites? Your Aramites, which you've worked so hard for all these years? Yes. We've waited a long time for this day to come. The sun and the moon no longer shine here. All you see now is cracks in this desiccated land. But fate has finally dealt me a hand to play against the Academia. That's a killer line. With these scholars in our custody, we'll stomp the Academia's forces and fight our way beyond the wall of Samuel. <sighs> Ridiculous. Think about it. The Academia controls the entirety of Sumeru. Your powers are negligible in comparison. If you still don't believe me, then try asking these two men. They're also against the Academia, men. but neither of them are as arrogant as you are. I beg to differ with Lahatham, but you know. <laughs> they look more like pawns of the Academia to me. Why would I listen to anything the people of Greater Lord Ruka Devada have to say? Filthy traitors. Your god abandoned all honor and betrayed King Deshret. We desert dwellers will never trust the likes of you. I... It's impossible to communicate with someone so hostile. Perhaps we should. Subdue them and fight them? Do you really believe that by kidnapping the scholars, you'll be able to negotiate with the academia? Huh? I'll hate them! I like Ramon's purpose, but not his methods. Yeah. Is that really what happened? Fuck if I know. These people have no value as bargaining chips. But I could be persuaded to take their place as your next hostage. Hey, them. These scholars were exiled from the Academia. I, on the other hand, am their current scribe, and will be a much greater asset to you. Hey, them. Wait, you can't be serious. Hey, them. So, you want to trade places with the hostages, do you? Precisely. Any wise person would gladly accept my offer. Hi, Sam. No. What are you thinking? What if they decide to kill you instead? Aura is too important to them. Well, that would be bad luck for me. Hi, Sam. However, I'd get the chance to observe the scholars, perhaps even find out the truth. <sighs> Think you can talk me over with that confident look of yours? Yes. I'm not trying to persuade you. I'm using this as a means of joining forces against the Academia. I hate them, truly. You are the scribe. What do you have against the Academia? Not all desert dwellers believe in King Deshret. And the same applies to the Academia. Why must all knowledge seekers approve of the Academia's way of doing things? Truly. True, 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 true. Knowledge seekers. He's so... He's so... He's so... <laughs> you Academia scum! Every last one of you is nothing but a hypocrite, just like everyone else on the other side of that wall. I've made myself clear enough. I won't listen to another word from the Dendro Archon's people. Uh -huh. Not so fast. I'll hate them. Do you stand by everything you just said? 100%. <laughs> I never make empty promises. Of course you don't. You know you're making a dangerous decision, right? He's full of adventure, this young strapping lad. I do. Good. Raman, hear me out. These people are my friends. Maybe you can't take the followers of the Dendro Archon at their word, but what about me? Do you trust me? Hmm. We've known each other for years. Of course I do. In that case, I'm willing to vouch for their honesty with my right arm. Are you getting your arm chopped off? Chopped off? Girly pop, no. <sighs> Come on, Raman. Don't be a coward. If you're serious about taking on the Academia, you need to steal yourself. You can't be afraid. 
Ooh. <laughs> An arm from the flame main. It piques my interest. But what if you refuse to oblige? What should I do then? No one's a fool here, dear. We're mercs. And mercs don't tend to live long unless they have their wits about them. You're not wrong, but this is different. I promised my friends that we'd bring back the village keepers together. <laughs> Let's do it right here then. Give me your right arm as proof of your resolve. Man, what a tough situation. Truly, everyone's just sacrificing themselves. This is crazy. <sighs> Don't listen to him! He's not even trying to negotiate! He just wants to make things more difficult! Truly. That's fine. Dia. Are you crazy? Yes. We came here to save lives. One arm for that many people is still a pretty good deal, if you ask me. Raman, I'm holding up my end of the deal here. You'd better not let me down. Sure. Go ahead and cut off her right arm. Do it yourself, coward. Jesus. No! Yes. Dia! What are you gonna do? Think of something! You don't have to go this far. Mm -hmm. That's not for you to decide. Fair point. Do it! Do it! Dia! And... Dia! Run! No. She's keeping up her part of the bargain. He, she's also not a person who makes empty promises, I believe. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Adorable. Uh, stop! Ha. Huh. I knew it. What's wrong? Can't do it? <laughs> Flame Mane, you and I are both desert folk. Cutting off your arm is no different than cutting off my own fingers. Where's the sense in cutting my own kin to pieces? Is that your dad? No. She actually ran away. Yeah, real. <laughs> Sish. He, he predicted that, though. You've shown me that you're serious. Go on now, take your friends and leave. Meet me in the desert at noon tomorrow. The desert? Dude, this is like a third of the map. What do you mean, <laughs> meet me in the desert? Where? All right. Bye. Bye bye bye. It's bush time. All right. Oh, fucking hell. Yay, look at her ragtag <sighs> friends. Yeah. I was really counting on him not going through with it. Jesus Christ. Oh, no, that's so vague, truly. Yeah. Isaac, you made this so much more complicated. That was crazy. Have you all lost your minds? What if he'd actually cut your arm off? Hmm, then I'd just have to hold my claymore with my left arm. Jesus Christ, please don't do that ever again. I'll be worried about you. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. But sometimes when you're out on a limb, you gotta double down to seal the deal, you know? Jeez. Don't ever make a promise like that again. I can deal with the likes of them. Truly. If it came down to it, you would not lose to them either. I don't doubt it, Sino. But this is about more than me and them. There's a lot more where they came from. Even if we got rid of one bunch of radicals, there are others out there. Wiping them out would do more harm than good. Fair point. <sighs> As you wish. I'm sorry, Dia. I should have stayed put and listened. I should have trusted you. Yes, Isaac. Next time, you're staying in the village, you fucking brat. It's okay. I promised you I'd help find your grandpa, so I'll do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes? <laughs> you just might be scholar material. Huh? Huh? Are you serious? Why is everyone from Sumer so hardcore, right? The Eremites once said that I was a lunatic. Perhaps a little madness is essential to be successful in research. Yeah. Nice. Why does it feel like he's using his praise for me as an excuse to brag about himself? <laughs> I think it, he was just stating the truth. That's just how he is. Okay, let's get moving. We should head back to the village and rest up. Today was just a trial run. Noon tomorrow is going to be the hard part. Truly. Do you all ever try to our village and rest your rooms in preparation? But what the chance of success? Where are the stakes? There's no way of knowing. <laughs> well, 
Yay, it's finally dark again. My goodness. Aru village. Scorching desert. Wait. Mm. Still four. Okay. How is it that's so many? But yay, good. Four. We're still in the form. That's good. I mean, I would have assumed so. Because you get the little quest completed thingy, but I'm always just so unsure. Uh, wait. On what, what are we waiting for? Give me, did you give me the little. Uh, wait until the following morning, 6 a.m. 6 a.m.? Alright, let's go to 6. Confirm. Beep bop. Next morning, I'm guessing. Hmm. Alright. Let's go twilight into the future. Boop. Yay. We're going round and 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 round Ugh, which entrance? That entrance? Mm, Alright. Hello, Candace! Sino! Where's Alhitham? There he is! Hi! Let me just standing there. Tuli. You're all here so early! Yeah. Looks like we have everyone here. Isak, are you sure you want to come with us? I'll watch from a safe distance. Dia, I want to be there to bring Grandpa home. You're gonna die. Stay in the village. Okay, let's go then. Why are they all so ready to let this fucking toddler with them? This is insanity. Dia, wait. Keep him. What's the matter? Keep him. I heard that you were quite reckless yesterday. No more of that today, understood? Or I'll be very upset with you. Oh. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like a mom or a very worried girlfriend. Adorable. Okay, we are you going? Oh my god, we're- uh, Jesus. Yeah, we're literally in the middle of the fucking desert. What the fuck? I can't- I cannot. Alright, we're going here. Menacingly. Older sister, truly. Jesus. Alright, where are we going? God, the Fatui are here too. Can't believe this shit. Where are you going? Can I just... Did he bird egg? They're just going in circles. Don't worry about it. There's also... <coughs> ah! Jesus. There's there's also... Ah! Jesus! We love Ah! Uh, Jesus. Stand clear! I... God, <coughs> another one of Absorption you? Absorption test! Stand clear! My apologies! Get <coughs> fuck, <coughs> mate! Oh look, there's a Seely. Hi there, sweetheart. Where are you going? Alright, you're going all the way over there. I'm going all the way over here. They've got one sage. One. Showdown of the huh. century. They got here before us. Huh. Is it because Paimon overslept by five minutes and held everyone up? You didn't have to admit that. Is everything ready? There's only one sage, what do you mean? Absolutely. So. Although... Yeah. You brought fewer people than I imagined. Yeah, exactly one. Bring him over. Grandpa! Oh. Why is there only one of them? Because they're only exchanging him for Grandpa. Raman, I've always thought of you as a man of his word. What's this about? It's a one-for-one -one exchange. Sounds fair, don't you think? 
not what we agreed upon, though. And let me put it this way. Agreeing to any kind of deal with the Dendro Archon's people is already a huge compromise on my part. Don't you think you've asked enough? Bitch. Hm. Pout. <sighs> it's like, I'm not giving myself up for a grandpa, bitch. I was doing a heroic sacrifice so we can have all of them. What do you mean only one and this feeble old grandpa? Uh-uh. You stay right there! Are we gonna fight? Are we fighting? No. Cutscene time. Oh my god. Coward, why are your hands shaking? It's not shaking. Wait a second, it's a earthquake! <laughs> what the heck? What the fuck is happening? Where are we? Uh, Paimon's dizzy. <laughs> Where are we? Is everyone okay? Sort of. They're <laughs> just standing there like a puppet without strings. Well, that was so. Uh, this day's going just great. You were so sexy, though. <laughs> what a nuisance. <laughs> the sand dune collapsed. Yep. I saw an energy field. The village keeper protected us. That looked like Dendro power. Lesser Lord Kusanali. It glowed green with Dendro. <laughs> Just like you said, it may well have been the remains of Lesser Lord Kusanali's power inside the scholar's body. I love that the little element is like right between his ears. It's so cute. Uh, you finally believe me. Uh, yo, I'm pulling on the grandpa banner. Hell yeah. The Dendro Archon. The present one. Yeah. Grandpa? Grandpa? Oh no. He's getting confused again. Hey, look around you. Yeah. Did there used to be a temple here? Um, I mean, we are literally at the mausoleum of King Deshret, but did you believe? Well, we're behind the Temple of Deshret. Look at that. It seems that when the sand dune collapsed, it exposed these underground structures. The symbols on the gate belong to King Deshret's civilization. This structure must be ancient. Over time, the sandstorms completely buried it and left it in the state we see now. It could have been an underground palace in the distant past. Oh, a miracle. Praise King Deshret! Go fuck yourself. What's he doing here? And his men too? I think, um, Grandpa didn't discriminate. They must have fallen down here with us. Pretty lucky if you ask me. Uh, uh. Lucky. Most of them seem in really bad shape. Except for him, he got off lightly. <laughs> him. Mind your head. No, no, this isn't the time for conflict. Our exalted lord has shown us the way to his sacred palace. Uh, -huh. uh he's not actually gonna go in there, is he? As it happens, I want to take a look inside too. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll protect you then, feeble scholar. What are you doing? Don't you think it's curious? One minute, Lesser Lord Kusanali's power protects us from harm, and the next, remnants of King Deshret's civilization appear. That is quite complicated. Two major deities are vying to showcase their power to us. It would be a shame not to witness them both. You're so right. Paimon thought you weren't interested in gods. Doesn't mean that he doesn't know shit about them. Indeed. In my view, gods are just a higher form of living being. Or creature, you could say. 
He's just like me for real, for real. Huge learning, wa learning, <laughs> lore warning for you. Ah, oh, bruh, okay. Well, well, okay. New discoveries are always worth investigating. Whether they have anything to do with gods is neither here nor there. Raman, what are you gonna do about your men? They're gonna stay here. He's just gonna... I'll just ahead. let them lay here. King Jeshret will take care of his people. Right now, I'm going inside. Inside, yeah, fair. Alright. Desert Raider. <laughs> nice. Alright, okay. One second. How you doing? Grandpa? Grandpa? Oh no, he's getting confused again. Oh, that's hilarious. All right. Bye, you guys. I think you're mostly dead anyways. All right. Okay, anything interesting that's happening over here? There's some energy cores here. Is there anything interesting happening here? The energy core inside my brain. Look at me, full power. I'm going Goku mode. Well, all right. Entry, please. Oh! Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Lower than recommended? I can see that. Uh, we want you and you, at least. I will bring my notebook. And <sighs> electro technically. But this team works pretty well, so you know. Maybe we'll get to play as one of them, but I doubt it. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. You'll be fine. Your practice with it's the mango full of life here. has prepared you. Yeah. This defies comprehension. It looked completely desolate from the outside. Yet, it flows with energy inside. Yeah! And there's so many plants. It's so pretty! Sir Raman. Sir. What? Huh? Me? Yes. <laughs> Do you see another Raman here? <laughs> you fucking smart Are ass. you mocking me? What do you mean, sir? He's a scholar. He's you not used to anything else. He would probably call me Sir Lamine. No, wait, Sir Traveler. If, well, ma'am, Traveler, ma'am. Yeah, he's just like that. Interpret it however you want. But there's something I'd like to draw your attention to. While this structure is clearly left over from King Deshret's civilization, the energy that flows in here is that of the Dendro Archon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whatever you say, it's not like I have a vision. <laughs> There's nothing to be angry about. Think of this as an academic journey. <laughs> it does seem kind of strange. If that's true, then we might have to explore this whole area to find an explanation. Yep. Okay. Still on four. I'm listen. Listen, I'm just worried that we'll just enter Act Five and we won't be able to stop and or leave. Ah. Hello. No mini maps. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hi. Rotate. Uh. Hello. Look up at the hall of the mortal and listen to King Jesha's holy guidance. Okay. Cool. In the hall. Guessing right here. X marks the spot. Hall, hall, hall. Hall? Yeah, I can't climb. Hall.
Like up here? No. What do you mean look up? Which hall are we talking about? What? Hall? This is not a hall. This hall? I'm just gonna look. Um. Alright. We'll probably just figure it out by accident then, huh? Look up. This is not the hall I'm supposed to look up in, right? Guess there's not like murals on the wall. Maybe all of them are this? Oh wait. Okay. Locked in. Ha! We're good. I figured it out. Sort of. Uh, it's elevator time, I suppose. All right. Oh, I swear we're going. Oh, that's that's is that supposed to be um? Can you guess it? That's Horus, isn't it? Bird, Birdman. It's Horus. That's the one of the sun. He's uh. God of the sun. He makes the sun rise and set. Right? Right? Smart, Juno. I'm so smart. Alright. Wise decision? Who knows? Okay. Rise the gate. Nice. Ring cutter. Yeah, fucks. Oh, I hate them. Would be jealous of what my knowledge. Mm. You would probably just judge me for taking so long to figure that out. I'm not figuring out the clue fast enough. Any more enemies you got to offer to me? Can't go up. up. Can't go up. I need to go down, down. Not being able to jump in domains is evil. Very horrors esque. Um, yeah. I'll, I, I, I figure. Could be Egypt. Who knows? Yeah! My apologies! Swirl, mark two! Kamisato art! Sumetsu! Get fucked! Body and. Yeah! Yeah! Blah 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 blah! Take flight! Thank you. Alright. Can I not go over there? Here, I thought I could go up there, but no. Evil. There's a wall there. Doesn't quite look like a wall. Hidden things, hidden things, hidden chest, hidden chest, something. Probably not, but always worth looking. I can't go there. Even though it looks like a perfectly good to good place to hide a chest, like they always do. I could fit in there. Come on. I could make it fit. 
<laughs> he. I mean, why put stairs when there are no reason to put stairs? Hmm? Yeah. Small. Scarlet is synonymous with sunrise and sunset, so that would make sense. Yeah. Alright. <gasps> Door. Door. Door? Door. Hello. Like a little riddle. Let me out. No. Okay. Will you let me in? Do I need to destroy the wall? Open. Ah. Perspective. Is this a movable wall? Mm -hmm. Ha ha. A carrot and an apple. We love to see it. I am incredibly smart, actually. My apologies. Look at me. Smartest of the smart. All hate them should be proud. I figured out the puzzle. By trial and error. Take flight. Da -da -da -da. Okay, come here, shroomy boy. Get fucked. Okay. There he is again in all his glory. Huh. Got more walls with cracks in them. And a chest. See, this is what I mean. Always look in all the nooks and crannies. You can never be too sure. It's time. Wee. How we do you use elemental vision frequently? Relatively. Not super often. Only when I think it's necessary. A blade embrace. Um. So no, not that often. Can't do that during combat. Come here. Whirling Whirling. Let me weave you a bird. Embrace the ice. Embrace it. Oh, yeah. never bother me anyways. My apologies. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yes. After six days infiltrating the temple, I finally understand the priest's parlor tricks. The elevator will descend to the ground, get on top of it before it starts ascending again to reach the dome. Nonsense like forbidden ground ahead, mortals shall not pass, or whatever are just made up by the priests to hoodwink us. I leave this method here in hopes that the people of King Dethrit, who shall travel here in the future, shall freely enjoy the privilege of witnessing the sacred presence. Okay... Huh. I see how it is. I was wondering why the fuck um, it was going like this, but what? Do I need to... No, alright, I see how it is. Wait, one second. I see how it is, I think. I un misunderstood, I think. That's why there's external buttons. That's that's why. Okay. Who said stayed up there, I guess. Yeah, well it was a little bit uh 
weirdly worded. It was a little weirdly worded. Don't judge me. Yeah. Whirling God, there's so many of you. Animal test 60. Wheel of life. Sacred name. Fortune preserver. <laughs> so rude. Sakura swirl. Rain outlines your fate. Come here. Take flight. Rain cutter. Okay. What do you mean? Did I, do something, did I do something wrong? It's just not the way to go. Feels like I did something wrong. God, if I know. I don't think up. Damn, bro. That's actually sick. This is why I think it's actually criminal that you can't take pictures in domains. I mean, look at this. I can only do normal screenshots. You solved it. I did? Okay. <laughs> Listen, I'm just, uh, I'm just unsure about my smartness or whether or not I have any in the first place. Oh, we're going all the way down down. I see how it is. Now pipe. that's a sight to see. King Desret's splendor surrounds us. There's so much vegetation here. It's different than what I expected. Sure are a lot of plants for a desert. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I call divine providence of King Desret. Oh, wall. We just got cock blocked by a wall. Oh, Jesus. Where are we going? That's why I used Charlotte in the main so I can take pictures by his girl. Nice. Oh? Oh? Oh, I like that this is, um, this is now without any of the UI. Well, most, without most of the UI. Let's keep it at that. Lore upcoming. Okay, I'm it's ready. It's getting brighter! Oh, it looks so beautiful! We're gonna get deaded. Alright, this is as fast as I can walk. Anubis? Alright. Wait. Wait? What's that? I don't know. A load of flowers. And it looks like there's something among them. It looks like a tomb. These are King Desret runes. They left something behind. Hmm. Yes. It's an elegy written in an ancient script. Oh, do you know that ancient script, Elhatham? What does it say? Here lies our faithful priest, Kasala. Oh. His wisdom is a miracle among the people, deserving of high praise and admiration. You can read ancient King Deshret script? 
No. He just made all that shit up. Of course. Every student needs to master at least 20 languages before they graduate. God, I was I was going to use that as an argument uh, earlier um, as, as like an offhanded joke. But uh, I thought like, uh, are those like old rules? Because Faruzan was like, oh, are those old rules? Um, but uh, it seems to be still very much applicable normal rules. He's not serious, right? He is very. Farzan was right. There's still something off about this place. The elemental energy here is too concentrated. The scent of life. Is it trying to tell us something? Don't smell. You're gonna. You're gonna get poisoned. Hmm. Indeed. Is this it? Maybe. Analyzing. Oh shit! It's a robot. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. There seems to be a hidden message among these skeletal remains. Excellent. There's a device from King Deshret's civilization in this gravesite. I'll transmit the information over and project it for everyone to see. Oh, because of uh, the fucking Aksha. <laughs> Isn't sharing knowledge against the academia's rules? Okay, Ramon. Yes. However, under the circumstances, I'd prefer you to see this for yourself. Yippee. You'll understand after watching it. Okay. What's happening? Oh, yay. Projections. Hmm. Let's just disassociate. Civilization Four. is born of knowledge. But so, too, can knowledge be its demise. A disaster caught us unaware. It was knowledge that did not belong to this world. King Deshret brought this forbidden knowledge into our world, and it quickly spread like a plague. People's minds were filled with crazed whispers. Dark gray scales spread across their bodies. Even the land was stripped of its vigor. Only a desperate, deathly silence remained. Were it not for Greater Lord Ruka Devata from the forests, the damage would have been irreversible. She summoned the priests to build temples and infused into them the divine power of life. The disaster was miraculously tempered, and the embers of our civilization were preserved in Aru village. Alas, the miracle could not last. As long as forbidden knowledge continued to exist, it would forever blight this world. In the end, the proud king of the desert, my eternal lord, chose to sacrifice himself. I have spent my whole life since guarding one of these many temples. But now, my duty is coming to an end. As I close my eyes for the final time, the sight of that noble deity will appear in my vision once more. In helping King Deshret to eradicate forbidden knowledge, she exhausted her strength, and her form became that of a small child. How strange. Now that I think of her, I no longer have any fear of death, for I sense that the spirit of life will abide with me during my eternal sleep. Children of the desert, cling no longer to past grievances, but hold tight to the memory of this act of benevolence. What was that? The greatest cutscene to have ever cutscene ever. Holy shit. I was quiet for that specifically just to rewatch it and not have my annoying voice in the background but like fucking hell dude that was awesome shit sorry i'm very loud next to the microphone but holy fuck that was also matra right because of his headpiece that means he was also matra Shit. 
law, right? <laughs> King Joshua died sacrificing himself. Yeah, and Ruka Devacha sacrificed herself too. They both sacrificed themselves, and this is the lore job that Nahida is actually still grand, uh, the greater lord Ruka Devada, but just smaller and less powerful. Which, but she's still the same person. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Big, big lures. Did the previous Dendro Archon turn herself into a child? Is she the same current Archon? Is she Nahida? Essentially, essentially, what has happened is she age regressed because she uh, used up all of her power. So instead of being a full ass adult, she's now a toddler um, to regain her strength and grow again. But she's gonna stay a toddler forever because they're not gonna grow her up back up again. But yeah. Tiny Nahida is, or rather, rather Lesser Lord Krishnali and Greater Lord Rukadavada are one and the same person, just different sides of the same coin, essentially. I knew this already, but this is a great lore job. So, well, and lost her memory. I don't know how far the lo loss of memory goes. I'm pretty sure she's still got them in her. I don't think she told us anything about that. It is a theory or a fact. I mean, it seems to be a fact that she's still the same person. But fuck, that was a really, really good cutscene. The priest's memories. Yep. No. No, impossible. Very possible, actually, Maman. Greater Lord Rukadevata. So the former Dendro Archon and King Deshret were never enemies at all. Yeah, she shriveled uh, but like a raisin. This doesn't make any sense. The Dendro Archon's followers, they're clearly... No, they're not clearly anything, bitch. Was that the former Dendro Archon? She became so tiny in the end. Maybe she lost her memory to erase the forbidden knowledge. That's a theory for sure. The man, er, this man's arrogance never strop, stops. Strops, stops. Yeah. Greater Lord Rukadavada became came to rescue King Jeshuit and his people, but eradicating the forbidden knowledge took so much out of her power. The two deities' followers have resented each other all this time, completely unaware that their gods stuck to by each other through life and death. You might be distrustful of the Akasha, but there's no reason for you to doubt King Deshuit's technology. You've just witnessed his priest's last words. Yep. I've never heard about any of this before. Of course not. You're ignorant and you want to just know about the stuff that you believe in. The surviving followers of King Deshret all gathered in Aru village. Our god did not make mistakes. We refuse to believe any of the rumors. King Deshret's death, the all but total annihilation of our civilization, it was all Greater Lord Ruka Devata's doing. Oh, Jesus Christ, you're just going back in circles. We saw her as nothing more than a traitor. Who stabbed us in the back in our moment of crisis. <laughs> just like us humans. Fighting, feuding, double-crossing each other to survive in the desert. Please tell me you've learned. Nahida and Ruka Devata are completely different persons. Hi, Butterscotch Bread. You're going in from lurking to tell me that they're completely different persons? I mean, yes, obviously, but they are still the same Dendro Archon. Or are you trying to tell me that it's the same thing with uh, A and Makoto? Because they're siblings. This instance, they're technically different people because she didn't get reincarnated. She regressed. This was specifically stated that she regressed into the form of a little girl. So I'm guessing it means that it's still the same person, just a younger version of herself. And I like the idea that she got, um, she, she raised her um, memories to get rid of the forbidden knowledge so it would not pose a threat anymore. They're not the same Dendro Archon. Elaborate, please. Like. A reborn. I mean, pfft, you know, a rebirth. 
I mean, it didn't explicitly get stated. It could be, but like, is it? And why couldn't she then be reborn into a different form? Like, a different woman? Or a literal child and not a toddler? She would then be reborn as a fetus, wouldn't she? I don't know. Uh, Nihidus uh, shares the same divinity as Rukadavata. A god is reborn from the wishes of people. We'll eventually know, sure. Uh, Act 5, Nihidus, story, story quest. Yeah. I mean... Don't spoil me too much. If this is knowledge that I can um, naturally figure out through story quests and stuff, I would prefer if you didn't tell me uh, how it actually is. I would love to have my theories. Uh, so if there is like stuff that I can figure out throughout the story quests, I would rather you not tell me. Um, and I would like to figure that out myself. Sure. I might be wrong about my theories in the beginning, but if I get to know the truth along the way, I would like to figure that out for myself. Um, I mean, we still have those. Yeah, I can't access them until we've finished Act 5 and 6. You were blinded by your prejudice. Indeed. <laughs> if I hadn't seen this for myself... If I hadn't witnessed his last words with my own eyes, ears, and heart, how could I ever begin to accept this? The truth is so far from what I've always known. Am I really supposed to believe that after all these years, all this time seeking revenge, suddenly now my enemy is my savior? Yes. Who stoked that anger and hatred and revenge-seeking vengeance in the first place? Was it you or Lord Rukadavata? Hmm? Um, yeah, you'll figure that out in the story. Yes, so shh. Let me make my theories. Uh, five stages of grief. Raman, that's anger. enough. Anger. Give it a rest. Bargaining. You're starting to make a fool of yourself. Oh, it's the eye patch, people. He has an eye patch. Oh, yeah, he Dia, does. tell me. <laughs> My Aramites and I, what are we even fighting for? Money? Leave Kea out of this. <laughs> Raman takes the time to collect his thoughts while the rest of the party continues to explore. Raman's reaction is nothing strange yet. He believes the three. Hey, uh, how are you doing? Bro, speaking of behalf of Kea. <laughs> uh, I'll live. <laughs> Thanks. I should probably go. Can't just stay here forever. What's your next move gonna be? Oh, I know what you're going to ask. I feel deeply ashamed of everything I've done. You'll get everything you're asking for. Yay! Kai's background is the sussies in the story, not gonna lie. I mean, he is adopted. Uh, his adoptive father died. He became a cavalry captain. I don't know much more about him. Guy wearing the eye patch to piss off G. Luke is still one of the best parts of Genshin. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's specifically to piss off G. Luke, but like, there, I've read and heard the the voice lines about him being like, I just wear like clothing. Like, it's just an accessory. Let's all agree, Paimon is the sussiest, truly. How did he get adopted? I don't know. But please, uh, give me some time. After everything that's happened here today. Somehow, I need to explain it to the others. Yeah, do that. It's not gonna be easy. Well, I guess that's for me to deal with. Dia, uh, this is where our camp's located. Make a note of it. When would be a good time for us to go? Tomorrow. I'll convince everyone that we're all on the same side. Yippee. And I'll return every last one of your mad... Uh, sorry, your village keepers. <laughs> we'll share our other resources with you, too. You seem to finally understand that our true enemy is the Sages. Yes. The gods never gave up on anyone. It's the people responsible for all this that need to face the consequences of their actions. Yes. That must have been rough. But he seems to have figured things out now. Yeah, like, complete, like... 
turning upwards of all of his beliefs. It, it takes him a while to get used to that. <sighs> Rahman's no fool. Being the leader of your own faction in the desert is no easy feat. Can imagine. It's too bad he was held back by his belief in King Deshred. But now that that's changed, I guess we have a few more people on our side. Diluc tried to kill Kaya, and that fight Kaya almost lost his eyes since he, uh... Hence the eye patch to piss off Diluc. Oh my god, that is... So petty, holy shit. It's just a constant reminder of, you almost poked my eye out, brother. Jesus Christ. That was a lot to him, truly. Yeah, this is a turn for the better. The outcome at least is favorable. We should get going too. Let's head back, have a proper meal, and a nice long sleep. We'll need all our energy tomorrow. I. All right. There they go. Um, Sino. Are <sighs> you paying your respect? Sino, we're leaving. Stop yelling. Baby. Baby. When the dark sun passes. Leave the ruins. I, Captain. Interesting. He's walking all over your grave. Hello there. Hi. Hi. Listen, while we're here, I might as well check out the rest of this place. Can you fall off the edge? Probably. Let's not try it. Can I... I wonder if I can climb on top of the tree. Come on, you can do it. Uh, I'd sell Paimon for 15 more. Oh my god, she needs to shut up. Eh, sometimes, yeah. God, look at that. That's a really pretty statue, too. Wait. <laughs> Aha. Success. Come on. I'm on top of that we sort of. All right. Nothing of superior's interest up there. I think we're good. Last chance to get a picture. Uh. I mean, I did take some pictures already. It is pretty. Uh, Lisa got her vision because she thought it'd be interesting to have an electro vision. D damn, Lisa. <laughs> oh. Could she have chosen any? Probably, right? But she's got to go with her purple aesthetic, you know? The purple aesthetic of which. Good, that reminds her. Hair out? Hand out? Thingy? Yes. Got it. Alright, where are we going? Up, down, left, right, left, right, smash. Um, I also want to... We are... Yes. So... Where's the... There's a... Thingy. Well, I'll figure it out. Hello. The gods be sipping over her. Nope, she just thought about it and it happened. Raman, we're here. That's what I said. And it happened? What? Okay, I'm confused. Everything's been arranged. Someone will bring the village keepers back to Aru village shortly. Yippee. I guess all I can say now is thanks for agreeing to help. Thanks for the memories. Ah, don't mention it. I think we can both agree you went to hell and back for it. But we share a common cause now. From here on out, we're allies. Yippee. Where are the perpetrators? She thought it'd be interesting. 
Yes, I read your chat message out loud. Is that a problem? That I read it out loud? Should I say butterscotch bread said this? Ha! Huh? We should main Lisa? No. I'll bring you to them. Follow me. I will not main Lisa. She will be in level 40 jail forever. So these are the people who kidnapped the village keepers. Huh. Oh no, it's the scribe! <laughs> He's got a reputation! There's no need to yell. No one can help you now. Okay, hi thumb. Where are you going? We've been you all over the desert trying to find you! Sis. That's right. Ooh. Angie. Angie Sino. General Mahamatra? No, no. Make it quick, please. Swift and painless. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's been too insulted and generally terrified by the knowledge of you having put up all of his, like, information on the Akasha terminal. Your death will neither be swift nor painless. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Let's not talk about gameplay. Whoa. The moment they set eyes on Sino, they turn pale like they've seen a ghost. You should have known that I would be coming for you. Wait, we were just following orders. You know what I'm talking about, right? There's no way we could have done all this by ourselves. No, not Sino. He's gonna tear us limb from limb. I could do worse. <laughs> I'd love to witness that, though. Please have mercy. Put gore, put gore in Genshin Impact just so I can see the Grandma Matra, aka Sino, go absolutely fucking apeshit on these fucking scholars. Turn on the gore mode. I want to see it. I'm so serious. Start talking. Otherwise, I'll have to resort to other methods. Like bloody methods. So, your superiors have kept you quite busy recently. Why? What are they trying to accomplish? That's a great question. Uh, they, um, wanted to extract canned knowledge. We know about that. Don't play dumb. You know what I'm really asking. They extract divine canned knowledge. Then what? I, I, I don't really don't know how to explain it. Try me. Well, you better start talking or you'll be sorry. Eljun is yelling at me about gore. You don't want to make bit. things any more difficult for yourself, do ya? May I ask them a question? Be my guest. <laughs> All right. The sages are trying to create a new god, aren't they? <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> of course. This is the question right out of the gate. Huh? huh? Fucking. God. Having a hand over two of the smartest people in the room is <laughs> always just... Ah. Uh huh. Uh huh. That sure didn't sound like a fancy metaphor or anything. You're serious, aren't you? Shock! 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 We need gore on that one. Yes, please. How did you know? Because I'm smart. There's no use hiding it now. Yes, you're right. <laughs> shock! The academia is working on an important and potentially world-changing project. They are creating a new god, a god that will belong to them. And to the people of Sumeru. No, Shnaznaya. It may seem as if Sumeru's academics are thriving, but ever since the death of Greater Lord Rukadavata, scholarly breakthroughs have been few and far between. Lumine with the one up. The withering of Ermin's soul has been getting worse recently. The sages have tried everything they could think of, but nothing's worked. I'm always hearing them say things like, if only Greater Lord Rukadavata was still with us. Um, something something ex machina. Um, yes, when I put it as, as, God, I forgot how the whole, whole saying goes, but, um, the god out of the machine, since, you know, Skirmish is a machine, aka a puppet, but technically a machine, you know, um, all of the Raiden, um, artwork that we've seen in the cutscenes always, uh, make her represent their, have her mechanical body as something with gears. So he is a machine. He is inside of a machine. We saw that in his cutscene. So. Thanks, Makita. Uh, you should watch the Patches trailer, or though it has some spoilers, kinda. 
Um, uh, maybe afterwards. Continue. And then someone from the Fatui showed up. They called him the doctor. He brought a, a, a gnosis and said he wanted to borrow the academia's research facilities. Yeah. The doctor was previously expelled from the academia. At first, the sages looked down at him in disdain. But when he said those words, everyone's expression changed. That works too. Yeah, like I'd rather watch it afterwards and then be able to connect the dots than watch it beforehand. He asked them, do you wish to create a god? This is what the arrogant ignorance at the extreme end of academia looks like. First, the academia spent a long time constructing a divine vessel, which was based on an exquisite humanoid puppet. The Balladeer. After that, they harvested dreams via the Sebzerus Festival Samsara, maximizing the Akasha's output. With the doctor's help and the Akasha now functioning at maximum efficiency, they were able to use it to extract the power from the Gnosis and convert it into a divine core. Huh. Next, they decided that their new god needed to possess divine wisdom. For that to happen, they needed a huge quantity of divine canned knowledge. Ugh. It adds up. But how do you determine whether the knowledge extracted is of divine origin? Call it an educated guess? The Academia has been trying to figure out the exact source of the Scholar's Madness for centuries, but to no avail. Nobody can explain the cause of this phenomenon. Uh, surely you can see what that implies, Scribe Al-Haytham. If it's knowledge no mortal can comprehend, then it must be something only gods are able to decipher. In other words, it's the source of the God of Wisdom's omniscience and omnipotence. Hmm. The sage's end product won't be greater, Lord Drukadavada, it will be the Balladeer. Yeah, and that is just the literal puppet in the hands, with the strings in the hands of Shniznaya. That is just their greater plot to take over all of Tavat. Um, it will be the Balladeer. You must have noticed by now, the Academia doesn't care about who their god is. It's the ability to exercise control over knowledge and wisdom that matters. It is as if they are cursed with a desire for omniscience and omnipotence that burns in their blood. Some organisms demonstrate phototaxis, and thus orient their entire lives in respect to sources of light. For the sages, their only source of hope is the existence of a deity who embodies the acme of wisdom. This is but a form of phototaxis. For many scholars, the absence of a god of wisdom means stumbling in the darkness for the duration of their lives. Hmm. Then what does Lesser Lord Kusanali mean to you? Is she not a true god present in this world? If you already have a new god, why try to create another one? Because she's not powerful enough? Because she's not doing exactly what they want? From the beginning, the Academia has never treated her as a god. Yeah, of course not, because they want her old self. When the Academia first discovered Lesser Lord Kusanali, the newborn god of wisdom, the sages hoped that she would be as wise as Greater Lord Ruka Devada. But upon evaluation, they found that at the time, she possessed no more intelligence than any ordinary human child. The sages never had a ruder awakening. This forced them to accept that Greater Lord Ruka Devada had indeed passed away. Hmm. Not to mention that Lesser Lord Kusanali's Gnosis had been used to power the Akasha this entire time. By herself, she has neither an Archon's raw power, nor the spectacular insight expected of a god of wisdom. God, the expectations, man. Slowly but surely, people began to forget about her existence. Bro. So, this is the path the sages have chosen. Apparently. She's capable, but their arrogance won't accept it. Yeah, they want all of it. Like, they want the old times. They want... They want everything as if the death of Greater Lord Rokudavata had never happened. Like, they want everything back to the old days. They don't want change. They can't embrace change in that way. Even now, they still refuse to acknowledge Lesser Lord Kusanali. I never imagined a god could be subjected to such cruelty. All right, let's try to keep our cool. If everyone's in a bad mood, then let's change up our scenery. Raman, give me a few men to help us escort the village keepers back to the village. And these two scholars, they're coming too. Sure, <laughs> as you wish. Yippee. 
go back to the village chief's house. We're going to... We're going to. Yay. Time. They deserve Raiden. Like, her sword? What do you mean? Boop. Uh, it's funny because that was hundreds of years ago. That uh, what I um so what would they even know what they're the talking about? The village keepers you found have all been returned to yeah. their homes, and each one has a dedicated caregiver to look after them. The two new scholars are being kept under close supervision too. <laughs> really great work, everyone. Thank you. The things she's done in Inazuma, kind of yeah. Uh, the atmosphere is so heavy. It's hard to not to feel weighed down by what we just learned. Despite everything Master Lord Kusinelli has done for her people, the Academia has abandoned her in the sanctuary of Surstana like a lost cause. Even though she protected, she's protected, I have never realized she's such a small and shy like god in the world. Hey! Say something! Stop spacing out! Fuck off, I'm having a revelation. Come on, is there nothing left to talk about? In that case, let's all get some water and try to think about something else. Yeah. Or I can go fetch some snacks. And we can make a movie night. Oh, Paimon's so coming with you. Sis. Do you have any plans, Traveler? Not necessarily. That's above. You're not talking about work, are you? I want to share everything I know with all of you. Hmm. So you were still withholding some information? Yes. I'm sorry, I had my reasons, but now I know you're all we're all in this. We're all in this together. I have my reasons. And between the conversation, Cannons and Paimon bring over snacks and tea. I like this. I love tea. Tea's expression is relaxed as if her mood hasn't been affected by the heavy conversation at all. Uh-huh. Sino has a firm and solemn expression on his face. It looks like he's made up his mind about something. Her core beliefs course of action. Alhatham also turns towards the crowd. He wants to listen too. After that, the whole story comes out. All the experiences, feelings, secrets, and shared feeling with everyone. To share everything means to consider everyone as allies. From today on, everyone will fight against Even though we lived through all of this firsthand, Jesus. it still feels super surreal to hear you talk about it again. That's everything we've experienced so far in Sumer. What a whirlwind of a story. Yeah. Felt like I was holding my breath the whole time. It seems like there will be more issues to face in the days ahead than I had anticipated. Well? Hmm. Still, now's a good time to make our next move. Now that Raman's joined us, we'll be an even stronger team. Yippee. It's time to make a plan. Indeed. These events are a flagrant transgression of the rules in every sense. We cannot allow it to continue. So, everyone, are we on the same page? Ish. Crush the sages? and rescue our god. That is our ultimate goal. Crush the sages! Like little bugs. No matter what lies ahead, I'll do my utmost. Well, let's brainstorm a little more about what other resources we can draw on. Of course. The next time we gather here, we must have a solid plan. All right. Yep. It'll work out for sure. Yippee. Okay. And we finished. The King Deshit and Three Maggi. Yippee! There he is. Um, I'm not leaving. We're actually not navigating through this. Go away. Love this part so much. Yee. Okay. Hi, Candace. You must let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Though I cannot leave Aubrey Village, I can't help but feel stirred when I see the looks in your eyes. I've never felt as roused as this when fighting alone in the past. I suppose this must be the power of camaraderie. Cute. Sino? Sino here? Sino! In the past, I never imagined that even the gods could suffer from hardship. Yeah. If we can find a way to change all of this, will this nation become a better place? Maybe. The past few days have been some of the most challenging work I've ever taken on, and none of it'll earn me a single Mora. <laughs> I can't believe it. Look on the bright side, Dia. Maybe we'll get a huge reward after this is all over. Hmm, you've got a point. 
Hey, what would you do if you woke up tomorrow with more money than you could ever spend? Hannah would buy boatloads of tasty snacks. I'd give a lot of it to my friends because they need it a lot more than I do currently. Um, so I'd probably divide it between my friends. Um, put a lot of it in savings. Make sure my parents are off all right. But I'd probably also keep it a secret because a lot of the time when you have a lot of money, people take advantage of you. So probably that, my friends, my parents, probably a lot of like charities and stuff that makes sense. That would require a lot of research to see which ones are actually legitimate. Um, possibly securing myself a house for the future. You know, make everything solid so I could live somewhere and stream forever. Just for you guys. I would never have to work. I'd just stream for you guys all the time. Ah, yes. Um, the Hades trailer and teaser came out when this act finished. Ooh. And the trailer for Act 5, too. I mean, fair. Uh, that was trending back in the day. I can imagine. I can imagine. That's it? Um, and maybe some tasty drinks as well? Paimon is uh, a being of very simple needs. Oh my god, hi, Jesus. <laughs> hi. Yes, me speaking. <laughs> How adorable. What would you get? A, bitter, a, a better Claymore? Well, here's to all our indulgent fantasies. If there's a chance they can come true, I'll give it my best shot. Oh, I love the way you think. Well, very, you know best case scenario it's like winning millions in the lottery is always just like first keep it a secret get a tax person to make sure that you don't go against the law and then you know divide it amongst the most pressing matters i got a favonia sword hell yeah keep that shit like put it up um like what do you call it um Level it up. You can use it for the Traveler for for sure, and you can also use it for Kazuha. So keep that in mind. And here's hoping that everything we do from now on will change this world for the better. Yippee! Okay. Best for last. Hello, I'll hate them. Don't rush. This is a big undertaking, and the planning and preparation for what lies ahead will no doubt take some time. Take it slowly. We need to make sure the plan is as effective as possible. Fair point. <sighs> He's starting to read his book again. Hey, are you even listening? Would you like me to lend you something to read? <laughs> no way. Your books aren't quite to Paimon's tastes. I'm guessing the most book Paimon will ever read is a recipe book. I was joking. I know my books are far too difficult for you, and I have no intention of lending them out. Ouch, you ass. Ugh, you're so annoying! He's a jerk. Well, alright, there's... Wait, oh yeah, right, um... We get a new thing for the Traveler, for the Constellation. Wee. Cool. Nice. Three energy. Three seconds. Mm. All right, we'll get there. How oh, well, oh well, oh well. What's this about? Oh yeah, we get a free wish. Yay! Next one is Act Act Five. Got twenty one. We're we're going pretty well on the Kazuha savings. Well then. There's, there's, there's only to get the achievements for this, this stuff. For the stuff we've, we've done. Wait, no, actually. Uh, yeah. That was it. We, we, we made it through Act 4. Uh, predicted time of only the cutscenes was an hour and 50 minutes. It has been four. We love it. But yeah, we've we finally went, gotten there. But now that um, Act Five is around the corner, I'm like, 
I need to take like an entire day off or rather just like one of the days where I have an off day and just entirely stream it through because there ain't no way that I can do the predicted three, no, what, almost four hours of it. Like, oh, I, I probably have to, gonna, I'm probably gonna have to split it in two. I'm gonna have to see. It'll be eight hours plus, most likely. Yeah, trust me. We're gonna try and see if we can split it pretty evenly at four hours. Um, just to make sure I don't die. Because I can, of course, do 12 hour streams, but I'd rather do like two streams and like elongate the experience a little bit longer than trying and do it in eight hours and just completely be dead by the end of it because I'm already quite dead and that's just because the week has been so much so um gonna pull a munch set and do a 12 hour stream maybe not I think I shouldn't do that too often and just because I really want to have all the acts in a singular video does not mean that it's good for my health uh, I remember I started at uh, 9 p.m. and finished it morning. Yeah, like, I, I'd rather split it um, and try and see if I can split it at, a, at an even point. Um, I'll, I'll see. I'll probably decide in the, in the moment, but I'll also write down all of the, like, chapters inside of the act and, like, try and figure out if I can split it pretty much evenly in the middle. Um, but, yeah, I will most likely split it. Split it. <laughs> So <laughs> we had fun. Thank you so much. I hope you did. I hope you had fun because I had a lot of fun. Um, I'm EP though, and I promise. Fuck. Ugh. Fuck. Um, I promised my mom that I would um get down to business. No. Um, we have guests in the house currently, and um. I, she was like, hey, it's going to be music tonight. Do you want to join us? And I was like, yes. So I will be joining her for a little while because we don't see each other that much. Um, but as soon as I'm back to my desk, as soon as I get bored of the people, which might be sooner or later, depending on how many interesting people I meet downstairs. Uh, afterwards, I will definitely be with you guys up here in the VC to do a little bit more Genshin grinding. So... Uh, I will be back. I'll probably leave this running in the background because I won't be gone for long. Um, I'll just exit out of it and like shut down my PC for a little while. It needs a little bit of peace and quiet. I mean, you're doing fine-ish. Just touching my PC. Nah, I think it's okay to like let you cool down a little bit because that's a little warm uh but yeah i'll have fun i'll probably dress differently because currently i'm in desert colors you didn't even see most of it but we're in desert colors because we're in the desert <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna i might even be full i'll hate them and just take my book with me and just be in the corner being like ha 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 ha, ha. i'll just be reading thank you uh quiet pc shush um, but yeah, I'm gonna talk with my mom. Not on the white page. How dare you, pencil? God, I take so good, such good care of my books. I swear. <laughs> Uncharted game outfit. Ha. Hee <laughs> Um, I know those games too. But uh, yeah, I will. I'm also incredibly hungry, so I'm gonna scout out my mom. And then we're gonna hang out a little bit, and then I'll be back to hang out with you guys! Ha 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 ha! It's gonna be fun, I swear, I promise. Um, I swear I'm a fun person, so if you wanna hang out later, um, the Discord is in the description. I know Vita isn't here. Uh, Creepy, do you wanna do the honors and send the link in chat? Um, you have the Indiana Jones trip, Lamau, truly. She will. I will. I promise. Um, there's, uh, the Discord, which you can find me on pretty much every day of the week, uh, except if I die, I suppose. Um, and I do hang out there and play VC Genshin sometimes, just to hang out. 
Um, still grinding Gensh, I am. Hell yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll join you. Um, you're a really funny girl. I am. <laughs> X. Um, but, uh, you know, I will be there. I'll probably talk about Genshin a whole bunch and how hungry I am, generally, you know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's also your best intake of news. Any news of, um, upcoming streams, cancelled streams. Thank you, Creepy. That's the Discord. Right there. Hee <laughs> hee. Thank you, Creepy. Pat, pat. Um, any news about streams? Any schedules? I do post them on Twitter, too. However, um, you know, I don't post anything else on there. But I will post, like, artwork on the Discord. I will post artwork from the schedules spe separate from the schedules themselves because most of the time I have like entire like backgrounds and stuff and like um, implement all of that into the artwork itself so if you want to see that as well that is also going to be there in a specific channel called the official Juno art so if you want to look at that that's what there that is for uh, so there's a lot of extra content and a lot of possibilities to talk to me because I do talk to you guys a lot. I never stop. I am the resident of Yap Nation. People will have to tell me to shut up before I do, you know, streamer lifestyle. Uh, but yeah, we, we, we do get so silly and very serious. Yes, B, you are. But like, we are so silly. We're so silly. It's, it's mostly like a 75 to 25 split of silly to non-silly. We're, we're so silly over there. Lots of Hatsune Miku lovers, if you're a, you know, if you're a friend of that, if, if you're a friend of Miku. Also, we are very intelligent over there. Well, <laughs> I beg to differ, but you know, uh, I am incredibly hungry, so I will now get myself some foods. And I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys on Monday again, probably. I, maybe not actually, because the, the dongle still hasn't arrived. So uh, I, I don't know if I can already connect my PS4 because I would like to start with um, Code Veronica before I start with Resident Evil 4. So we're, we might still have to wait a week until I have figured out. Um, the dongle for my PS4. Uh, but yes, it'll be fine. We'll get there. And uh, yeah. My bad, sorry. Uh, Freak Mondays. So I might take Monday off um, or I'll switch around the Tuesday world um, story quest to Monday because Monday is not as long as Tuesday. We'll see about it. No Code Veronica on PC? Nope, it's a console only game. And I would like to connect my PS4 to my PC anyways, because it would be really fun to play a lot of the games that you can only play on PS4. Like, for example, The Last Guardian, which is a game I've been looking forward to playing myself for so long, because we love weird cat creatures, especially the giant ones. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I really, I really, yeah, you know? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, we're, you know, yes, <laughs> I've lost the point. I will leave you guys to it now. I will see you guys next week. You can ch check out my friend Zeke in the meantime. He's going to stream some community games tomorrow or art. I forgot. What is Zeke? Tell me about yourself. Where are you? What are you doing? What are you doing on the stream schedules? Um... Have you, this was the 18th, yeah. Genshin reacts, oh, this Wednesday as well? What, no, it's the th it's Sunday, it's almost Sunday. Yeah, community Sunday. It's gonna be something, it's gonna be something tomorrow. So, uh, you know, check out Zeka, he's cool. Um, Veronica, how dare you? Eat, I will, I will, it's time to eat and I will, but yes. I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm going. My brain has already fried itself to death because of looking at El Haytham for too long. So, um, I will be back to play some Genshin later, but for now I'm going to go get redressed into not sweatpants and go chill out with the people downstairs. I will see you guys later. 
or on Monday or on Tuesday or whenever I see you next. And uh, yeah, see you guys. <laughs>